What's happening, everybody, and welcome to the club. What a pulsating day of football it has been already, and we are now about to join Big Inch to watch <laughs> his team go head to head with Man City. We have just looked at the lineups, and the, line, the two centre halves for Tottenham are Ben Davis and Derek Dyer. Is that right? Might as well yeah. be. Uh, no, not Dyer. No, um, ben, ben Davis and uh, the other kid, uh, R- Royale. And Emerson Royale. Royale. Like, yeah. if, if Man City don't score five... Might as well be yeah. Benton and Edges. This is their um, <laughs> biggest game of the season every year. They make they make movies about it. You know, they make, uh, you know, uh, yeah. series about beating Man City. It's their big trophy every single season. Does, does so they might beat us. Because they do beat you every season, though. Yeah, and that's, that's I mean, fair You can't give them. it the big end when they beat you every yeah, season. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not giving it... I'm saying they beat us, so they make, you know, movies what about it on Amazon. It, it, uh, up there last year, you beat them. I remember Mares scored a blinder. You beat them 4-2 up there, didn't you? Uh, no, the last, the, the, the I'm last, pretty sure they did the a double of it games. over us last season. No, so they they, the, no they, the Harry, Kane, Harry Kane scored the hat trick in the in in the game at Tottenham. That's up there, me. up there, I think it finished four two. I probably made myself look really dumb here, but I vaguely remember Mares scoring a really good goal. Uh, it, it, they've it, it, they've, it, it, they've smashed us a lot in the last four or five years, um, and they got lucky in the Champions League as well with the VAR decision. So. Sorry, you're right, actually, Rory. You're right. I should know that. I thought, um, Tottenham have won three of the last. I remember Mares. Mares scored a blinder. Tottenham have won three of the last five. Um, but yeah, but, uh, City but, but you know what? Four. Going into this one, it's a very different Tottenham team, isn't it? You know, like you know, last year when Tottenham got the victory, when Kane had that blinder, scored the hat trick, he was just unplayable that day. One of them was really late as well. You know, I think City got back into it. Kane scored. They ain't got Kane. No. Like this is this is a very beatable City team, and when you look at the players playing at the back for Tottenham. And then you think about the offensive players for Man City. Alvarez and Haaland should have a field day here. Yeah, City should, 100%. I, I do think there's something missing still in the City side. Uh, we, we, were, we were really poor against Leipzig, came back last minute. Uh, I thought really poor against Liverpool, poor against Chelsea to concede four to Chelsea. What so would I think, you say? I, I think there's some gaps here for City. What, what's the gap? Right? If, you know, if I were to say, okay, recruitment, play, play, a, play a game, problem, right? Isn't it? If, if you if you were to bring someone in in the in the January transfer window, where do you think City need to strengthen in order to secure the league? Another midfielder, yeah, because Nunes has come and he's not set the Kovacic. world alight. Kovacic, I like Kovacic a lot, and when it goes well, he's had a couple of really good games for City. Only a couple. But this is this is Kovacic. But he's injured. He's injured all no, the time. But this is Kovacic all over. He has a couple of good games, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he doesn't. Considering the quality that Kovacic has, yeah, the the, the output is nowhere near enough, is it? Yeah. Like he's one of the he's one of the like most Gifted footballers on the ball, with touches exquisite. He can carry the ball so well. I mm. think, why are you not dominating games far more than than you than you actually do? You do hope that City can wrap him up in cotton wool a little bit with the quality of our squad. A bit like how Ilkay Gundogan came in. He, he had a back issue from Dortmund. He was always injured, and he kind of after a couple of years sorted it out. Can but maybe you, Kovacic can sort his injuries out. Can you believe this? There is a significant chance that somebody will win the jackpot. Of Super 6 today. This could be the day that somebody will win the jackpot. If you want to play Super 6, make sure that you download the Super 6 app. All you need to do is head over to the App Store, download Super 6. It will not cost you a penny. And you can predict six Premier League scores correctly. You will win a quarter of a million pounds. So far, in our mini league, we haven't had a jackpot winner. But it could happen today. If any of these scores come in, there will be a jackpot winner. If this, if this game ends, Man City 1, Tottenham 1, Man City 2, Tottenham 1, Man City 3, Tottenham 1, Man City 2, Tottenham 2. If any of those score lines come true, somebody will win 250,000 bags of sand. Do you want to hear this for some stats on the score line, actually? It is, it is um, you know, going with what's going on. It is in context. There hasn't been a draw in this fixture for those that have gone 1-1-2-2 one, one, two, two, since 2019 was the last draw in this fixture. There's been eight games since then. Spurs have won five of them. City have won three. Nobody has predicted. So so the four scores that will see somebody win the the huge amount of money that the Super Six have put down for this. Nobody has said a Tottenham victory. So if Tottenham were to win, not only would it be a disaster for everyone, but it would be a disaster for for also, these these players as well. In those fixtures, there hasn't been a three one or two one. So it's due. Um, it could be so due. It's due. Yeah, it's it could due. be due. It's due the draw could be due. The win could be okay. Exciting. Um, really exciting. I am hoping Tottenham win. So and am thank I saying you. I don't want. Yeah, you are. No, you have winner? to. You have to now want a draw. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I'll tell yeah. you why. A two-two draw. Because then, if there's no winner today, there's a potential for that rollover, isn't ah, there? There is. So I want someone to win that million. That's, That's what true. It, is. That, it could that, be you, Adam. If, if you did better, Adam, it could be you, mate. 
Thank you, by the way. I have to just say thank you so much to Super 6 for partnering with us for the whole season. We are honoured that they have chosen us to partner with. And remember that you can play Super 6 totally for free. Join the club's Super 6 Mini League. Use the code CLUB23. And remember, this is the crucial part. You could win £250,000 and it will not cost you a penny. Just download the Super 6 app and join our Mini League. I love the fact that one of these players at home could play with us in a game against pitch side. That is true. And I'll be wearing the new Predators for sure. In well, no, you, you're not a predator. Have you seen man. the new predators? I don't know. You're, you're not a predator. predator man. I am. I am. You're yeah, not a predator. Stephen Gerrard, Zidane. You're not a predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stephen Gerrard, Zidane, Booby. Yeah. yeah, you're not yeah. a predator, man. Beckham. Yeah, you're, you're not. You're a, you're a high man. tech. You, yeah, you are. <laughs> you're a high you tech. You are man. Diodora's. Yeah, actually, no, Kino, Diodora's, Diodora's right. pretty cool. You're high tech. That's Inzaghi in it or whatever. You are high tech. No, you are. I'm high tech. bro. I'm umbro. You know those boot players wear when they haven't got a boot deal. Yeah, they color it in. Yeah, that's you. They color it in. They color out the shit. I don't care about the haters, man. I'm getting those predators. They look absolutely Box. delicious, don't they? Oh, yeah, don't mate. get them. I'm an Umbro man. Because I want to get them. I'm an Umbro. Get them, I'm an Umbro you don't, you definitely don't need them. You don't, you don't need them. Need, you're the, you're the kid at school gets the F- life. F50s or whatever. The, no, the no, never that, never that. Never that. Never that. With the interchangeable I'm just waiting studs. for them to make the champagne gold ones again. Oh, would you Would wow. you ever oh. play in boots? What Would you play in coloured boots? Would you play in like fluorescent boots? I always wore black. Black boots, yeah. Black, red and white preds is what I always wore. Is it? Black, red and white. The Beckham thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always had preds. Yeah, yeah. Always. I remember when I was a kid, we went, like, when it first came out, The Predator, we went that down <laughs> Kilburn High Road, and it was, like, a sports shop, right? It was, uh, we went down there, and you know how they have, like, the boots on display? All of us, like, five of us, nicked one. So it was on display. We nicked it, took the boot back to the flats, like, put the one boot on, obviously a size that didn't fit us. We'd be, like, booting this football round, going, look at a curl on that! Like, like <laughs> size nine. You used to think your trainers <laughs> impacted how quick you went in it. Yeah. I mean, there is some truth to that, but at the level we were with kids, like, yeah, it would the, the minimal. But that's slippers when, were the best, slippers, if anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah run yeah. quick in there. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah, but also, now, now, you know, now, I don't understand fashion for people under the age of about 25. Do you know what has got, got fashionable? And I just can't understand how any self-respecting adult can wear these. Do you know those clogs that are about? Yeah, yeah. What are they called again? Clogs. No, they're not called clogs. They're, they're like big... And people are putting boots. like badges and stuff on them. What are they yeah. Called? Crocs. Crocs. Oh, cro- yeah, that's it. Crocs. What did I call Crocs? Yeah, cro- Crocs? What did I call Clogs. 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 <laughs> Clogs are the Dutch farmers <laughs> wearing it. Yeah. Them things, well, anyway. more for comfort. How are people wearing else? those? For comfort, fashion. isn't it? No, I understand that they're comfortable. Yeah, they're By that for... logic, my pajamas are comfortable. I wouldn't go out, but, but people do now, don't they? But I think but there's, this, there's this thing that's become cool now is not caring. So wearing Crocs originally would have looked like you didn't care. <laughs> You yeah. know, like you just. But I'll wear what I want. Yeah, yeah. But I always think that. You know, when but I then see they these became hipsters, a fashionable. You know, thing. when I see these like twenty-year-old hipsters around, like Dalston and Hackney, and that. I think if you an watch awful the club, we lot, like it, by the way. an awful lot of effort has gone in to making you look that bad. <laughs> like yeah. you've really tried hard to look like that much of a tramp. Yeah, no, hundred percent. They're, uh, they're Have you got clogs? Them, innit? No, 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 got no, 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 no. You've got no. I don't, I you can like, tell by your face. You've now, got them. I, I was thinking, basically, of a guy that slagged me off for wearing New Balance in the picture we had with Gerard Piquet, and someone was saying, "What? Well, how are you wearing?" No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But Have I was you seen trying to gauge New Balance, by the way. No, I've not seen that. No, no, nothing, nothing wrong with a bit of MB. But New Balance are a little bit old school. I like, I like Dad Core. You know, Dad Core. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, I love that style. Fifty-five quid for clogs. Clogs. Mate, I just can't understand it. I can't get like certain things. I can't process. Would you take and some donated to the things. channel? If someone donated some Crocs to the channel right now, they send it for the next. And they screen, made you, would they you made wear you them? with a, a club badge for a your Crocs. club badge and a, and a Chelsea, Chelsea badge. badge. I would set and a lamp, lamp, lamp like? on the back. I would set the shoe on fire. A glass of you wine. You wouldn't wear it for the stream for no, the person who sent it. I would never wear them. But he just spent load of money on Royal Mail. Send it in. I would rather be dead. Well, fair enough. I would never wear them. I would. I would never wear. I would never wear them, and I implore you not to either. <laughs> I'd wear them for anyone watching from from Crocs. Or I'll wa- I'll wear them. I'll oh wear wait, them. A brand I'm size hang tw- on, <laughs> brand new, if a brand, Hang on, I'm Sorry, size twelve. By the way, I'm he size got, twelve. What he thought you were about some yeah. viewer sending in their I was, Crocs. But yeah. what if that viewer was also marketing at Crocs? No, I would. If I were paid to wear them, I would wear them. But <laughs> that would be my. That that's the only way. I'll wear way them for free. You're giving away the game here as well. By that's the, way. the only way that I would ever wear them because I think they are ridiculous. I think they look pitiful, and I actually think that you're less of an adult and less Matt of a Wicks, human if um, you wear them. Cause you both star icons. I, I, I imagine it's I'll sarcastic. That. No, he's right. Why? The, why do you have to add context yeah. into it? What? Who, who Mate, are you? Who are you? Who are you to read to to read between the lines of his message? His message says what? These um, two are style icons. Style icons, Rory and Boovey. And then you've decided 
You but he was with that tone. To you, throw your you, two you, pen at that 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 Nobody asked you what tone you had when you said that, please. Was it a sarcastic one? Were you being no, serious? No, but he's typed, it in he's typed it in neutral. He hasn't put a laughing emoji, is he? Is there a laughing emoji? No laughing emoji. Is that, there it's we go, straight then. It's facts. But facts. Some, 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 <laughs> see, sarcasm, you know, you, have to, you get it. You either get it or you don't. You don't need emoji. How would you get sarcasm and across the internet? And I think I got sarcasm from that. No, I didn't get any. Oh. I didn't get any sarcasm. No. I thought it was just a, a, a legitimate says, serious... Okay, Matt's replied. He says, oh, it was definitely serious for sure. Now you're reading really double amount of you're, sarcasm. You're, you're trying to put the intonation on it. He says, no, what he's actually said is, what he's actually said is, I'll read what he said. Yeah. He says, oh no, it was definitely serious yeah. for sure. There's no dot, 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 is there? Yeah. There's, there's, no no dot, 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 there's no dot, dot, dot. There's, there's no, no emoji. Pause. There's no dramatic. There's no emoji. There's absolutely no reason to suggest that. I don't know what I've done. You've just blocked him. <laughs> I don't know what I've done there. There's absolutely no reason to suggest that that isn't true. That's crazy. No, he called a style icon. So he's a man of discerning with taste. With no emoji, with no break in the, in the Look grammar. Look how bad Harland is. Right. Skip Alex it. has got a good question. He says, guys, what about the football? Yeah, yeah, why yeah, football, football, why football. is Erling Haaland so bad at skipping? Look how bad he is. Look how good Foden is. Haaland's skipping. allowed to not put 100% effort into he's training. He's not a good skipper. Yeah, he can do what he wants. You'd be bad at skipping, I mean. Me? Yeah. I, mean, I skip all the time. Skip I'm, 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 a, I'm a skip <laughs> champion. Imagine those thighs bouncing around yeah. when he's skipping. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so that, if he skipped upstairs, we'd be going like this. <laughs> right. Can we get a super chat, please? Because we've got to read them. Ah. Start, bench, sell, Zizou, Ronaldinho, Thierry That's Henry. a ridiculous one. That's hard. I start that's Ronaldinho. That's ridiculous. You start Zidane. I start Ronaldinho. He's my favourite. Who's the best player in the three? Of simple, simple, result, question, simple question. Zidane. Who is the best footballer of the three? Zidane. Ronaldinho. And I love Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho is the best footballer out of those. Ronaldinho is the best footballer I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, and I, I kind of agree. But Zidane could do more. He's more well-rounded. Ronaldinho could do more. No, he's more Ronaldinho well-rounded. Ronaldinho, you Ronaldinho want, is... Ronaldinho can do. control the game like Zidane from a deep line midfield position. Zidane had longevity. All right, cool. Ronaldinho is the best player on that list. Yeah. Ronaldinho is the best player on I love Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho is the best player. You don't. don't I pretend literally you, do. Don't I literally love him when you just... I li- you just, yeah, bet, you just yeah, I'm not him saying... I'm not, I'm not comparing him to you know, someone... I'm saying Zidane, you know bro. The mo- you, know, you, know when they do, you know when they do, like, the best player ever? And maybe they quick people go, uh, Diego Maradona is a shout. Uh, obviously, Lionel Messi is a shout. Cristiano Ronaldo, if you like. Do you know... All of that is true for various reasons, right? When you bring in loads of metrics. What did they win? How long did they do it for? What clubs... Is, whatever. But I think the most talented footballer to have ever lived, just the most skillful, is Ronaldinho. Mm, I hear it. Yeah, behind Messi the R9 and Maradona. As well. no, no, what I'm saying is not. No, no, I'm no, saying no, the no. most pure, pure skill, pure, yeah, yeah. pure sexiness on on the ball. Yeah, pure, aesthetic, smile aesthetic on his footballer. face, doing yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. There's nothing like Ronaldinho. I was so gutted, Peter Kenyon, you absolute tosser. <laughs> he made the deal fall through. <laughs> we only had to give PSG an extra million. Yeah. And then what happened was because we rejected. Barcelona's bid for uh, no no because David Beckham rejected the move to Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Um, they went for. Bruno I'm not being funny. Yeah, this, is, this isn't Cristiano. a bias thing. I'm so glad he didn't go to Man United as a football fan. No, not a City you fan. I'm not trying to be. You would have ruined him. Do you know nah. why he didn't? Seriously, not at that point. At Barcelona, it no, was no, perfect. No, it was. It was. It, he, he, he was. Perfect, he would have got yeah. limited by Ferguson. He, he wouldn't have got real. limited by yeah. Ferguson. Yeah. You know, limited you know, to what he did at Barcelona. Real Madrid had the opportunity to sign him then. Real Madrid had the opportunity to sign him then. And do you know why they didn't? I can't believe that things like this were, maybe they even still are a factor, but they certainly were then. They decided oh, yeah. he wasn't handsome enough. Like, you know, for the for the image of the mm. club. His teeth. They, gen- they genuinely, teeth. Yeah. you know, part of the reason they went for Beckham and whatever. These are the ones that signed Thomas Graveson, by the way. <laughs> not in the same role. <laughs> to, not, to no, not job. in the market. Would have been the same person. No, no, no. But not He's in, on the bench. Graveson wasn't signed to be like a marquee representation no, 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 of the just, club. Like, no, okay. like <laughs> at the time, it would have been Beckham on the yeah. on the like Eager. yeah on the you know those mad big Ronaldinho Jonathan Woodgate on real like if you remember like <laughs> one of Lawler, the first though. ever Kate viral Lawler. YouTube videos was Ronaldinho all the covers yeah. of FIFA mm. with Rooney no he was iconic Ronaldinho. He, was, he was certainly I mean, I he's my favorite shot that. he he is and I've seen I've seen Lionel Messi play a few times with my own eye I've been in stadiums and watched Lionel Messi in fact I've watched Lionel Messi play in a World Cup and miss a penalty in fact but the best player I've ever seen with my own eyes including all the Chelsea players that I've had the privilege of watching, any player that mm. played in the Premier League, the best one I've ever seen in a stadium was uh, Ronaldo. Renal- the, the toe poke against Chelsea, I've never seen anything like it. Nobody I've never has. seen anything like Nobody it. Nobody has. Do you know, do you know that? happens again since, but, but, but do, you know, do you know what, mate? I've never, ever been in a football stadium and had this sensation. You were there, sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah mate, yeah. I was behind the goal. Yeah, wow. But do, do you know what was amazing about it? It was such a unique experience that has never been uh, re- replicated across football, as far as I can tell. Literally, 
a goal goes in in front of 40,000 people, chances are somebody knows what's happened, right? The ball's hit the back of the net. People cheer, people don't cheer, people get upset, whatever. Do you know what happened that day? There were only two people in the entire stadium that knew what had happened. Ronaldinho himself and Petr Cech. There was just silence. And everybody was like, he's got a ball. Why is he celebrating? Oh, my God. About 10 seconds later, the Barcelona fans at the other end of the ground celebrate. Yeah. But not until Ronaldinho and crew celebrated. That's amazing. Nobody, nobody had a clue what's gone on. crazy. Yeah. And do you know the other goal he scored against? I, remember, I was in the new Camp. I think they beat us 2-1 in the new Camp. When, he, he, when John Terry bounced he, off him. Yeah, so I was about to say. He launched <laughs> Terry. <laughs> wow. it, it might have been the day. John Terry bounced off him. You know? yeah, yeah. We scored late. I think it finished 2-1 to them. No, but you know, you know Terry in his peak. Nobody could compete with that physicality, yeah, you know. Like yeah. the, the, he just launched him. Yeah. He just, do you yeah, know, I saw it. He just launched. Football. He launched Terry. With you. He just that launched is him. Aggr- the aggression yeah. from playing on the streets. You know, what and, I mean? and, and but you nobody can't beat it. You know, certain players like you would never think that that Ronaldinho would have the the upper body strength. Like you, you'd, yeah. you'd totally appreciate that he had the skill maybe to jink past John Terry, but not bully Terry. Not no, not no, launch yeah. him out of the way. And he did. Yeah. It's a, it's a ma- amazing footballer. He'd be my. He would so be my starter. He'd be my starter. Yeah, me I too. I think Zidane's Ronaldinho. on the bench, mate. And then you sell him Armory. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, Start wow. bench style. Yeah, Start Armory doesn't... Bench. He's not close there's to a, There's an argument for Armory above Zidane. Yeah. No, I was putting There's an argument for Armory to be starting. If you want there's an argument for, for the bench, bench. Yeah, 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 if you want to go off the bench, of course. But well, Zidane controls off the it. bench. Come on, man. No, I'm, I'm not saying There's he does not more than Henri that. Yeah, but Henri is more of a super sub. No, but Henri's, no, I'm saying if you bench Henri, you're doing that for a reason to get a goal out of him. Because I was very tall. I, I'm very close to picking Henri. I think Zidane, on is not, Zidane isn't in my list. Whatever the bottom rung of this is. So That's Slog, crazy. Marry, yeah, Avoid. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm avoiding Zidane. I don't mind. I think I, I don't mind that. I think I'm avoiding Zidane. Snogging. I love Henri as well. I think Henri's an incredible. I'm marrying Ronaldinho. <laughs> I'm getting married to Ronaldinho. That's what's going to happen here. Incredible. I am marrying Ronaldinho. <laughs> Yeah, it got into marriage and kissing and all sorts. But that's the game, that isn't it? But I don't snogging. know what the terminology snogging. was used. Snog, well, marry, avoid. Was snog marry, avoid, was it? <laughs> the game that we're playing is snog, marry, avoid. <laughs> you made it that. He didn't say that. He said no, start, bench, I can't bench, remember sell. what he start, said. Bench, sell. Start, bench, sell. Okay. Yeah. Start, but you made it about snogging. Ronaldinho, start, bench. Start, Ronaldinho, bench, Thierry Henry, yeah. and sell. Uh, I think it's Zidane. Zidane. Sells, meant, sells in, but the reason money. that you're saying sells in Adin Zidane isn't because you want to sell in Adin Zidane. It's because they're the, they're, they're the, the op- I think Henri is a better impact sub if you need to go on a game. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Start Ronaldinho. If the game's going away away from you, bring on Henri. But, uh, Thierry is Henri on, is a better footballer than Zinedine Zidane. He's not. He's not. He's not. No, no he's not. He's a better finisher. No, I think he's a, better, he's a better overall he's, footballer. He's not a better overall footballer. Than I don't Zidane. know about better. Role. Zidane. There's an argument. That Zidane's top five in the history of football. But there people. is an argument that. Henri's not top ahead five. of Zidane in this. It, for this purpose, yeah. But as a total footballer, he's not top ten of, of all time. Zidane, Zidane, yeah, like Zidane was a Zidane Zidane's was almost a, like Zidane was unreal in the clutch big moments. Like, but, but I don't. You know, I don't remember at the time. I yeah. see a lot of people do it now, going, "He's the best ever," and that. I don't remember people. I don't agree with that. that then, but there's four. The there's four. We say Pele, Maradona, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, Portuguese Ronaldo. Those are those four are untouchable. Outside, you have got Eusebio, George Best. And then you've got the likes of Zidane, you know. Yeah, that of, course, kind of, of course, of course, of course. I don't think Henri makes that oh, second. No, no. And I Cruyff. think he does. I think Henri does. He? does. Yeah. yeah, I think Henri does. I, th- I think if I love Henri, but I, I don't know if he does. Do you know? Do you know? And I, I don't want to judge you if you're not doing this, but you know how you know about Henri, so you can make a because re- you lived it. Mm. You didn't really live, but partly because you were in a different country and partly age, you didn't live Zidane. Mm. And I wonder if because, and I didn't either, by the way. I only had five, I, six years. No, I, I didn't either. Yeah. But I wonder if because we didn't live it, like I don't know how he played for Juve against Udinese. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if because we don't know, we just assume it was amazing yeah, rather yeah. than, yeah. like I wonder if we give But we, we have give to, him we have to than... extrapolate as football fans. I never saw Pele. I never saw mm. uh, Bobby Charlton. I never saw George Best. Yeah, but yeah, I can, yeah. because we love football so much, we can kind of gauge these players. people are commenting on Armory's they're using the word bottle job, but I'm not going to, I don't want to use that word, but they're questioning like, because Zidane's ability in those big games. That's true. No, no, well, that's a really good Champions point. You should have made that World point. Cup final. You should have made that point. What, not making a, a scoring no, a goal in a you, cup you, final? No, but like Zinedine Zidane scoring like one of the best goals in a European Cup final that we've Actually, ever seen at Hamden Park. Running the game yeah, right. in Europe, Brazil in 2006. Scoring two goals. I go Ronaldinho Zidane Armory. 
if you'd made that point, you'd have got a bonus point here. But you, you just changed your mind. Yeah, I changed my yeah, mind. Yeah, because of, I'm allowed because to. But when I said it, I said, I think I agree with Rory. Fine, fine, fine. Because I Pierre definitely is... had Ronaldinho top. And then the other two. Zidane's were... like Cruyff, and, and Henri's just a. You've 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 said that. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm trying to say. Like, just like what Rory said. You how got high? In the, you know, this, <laughs> how, how high? How high in this conversation would you put Cristiano Ronaldo? What do you mean? So like best ever footballers we're talking here. There's an argument he's the best of all time. Do, do, how high do you put him though? Do you put him? I put him behind Messi one, and Maradona. Two? He's three for me. Three. He's ahead of Pele. Three. <clears> okay. Because oh, of the, the modern ahead factor. of Zinedine as well for you. Yeah, definitely. Someone ahead got of... mad in the chat. Yeah. Go on. Someone said Armbri and Aubameyang are same level. So on that note, <laughs> we need to move on. Um, Spurs. Yeah, Aubameyang at his peak yeah. and Omri now. Armory, yeah. They're the same now. Armory, when yeah. he returned to Arsenal, he was New York Red 12. Bulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, goal yeah. Get, the goal against Leeds United. No, Armory, when he gave Mika Richards the shake the other day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Or Batman ain't even that good. <laughs> yeah. That was so good, isn't it? man. <laughs> so good to just still have that. Yeah, yeah. That's why he can't be a manager. That's why Roy Keane can't be a manager. Because you're asking players to do things that you can't, yeah, came yeah. second nature there's to an you. Amazing, there's an yeah. amazing clip of Gianfranco Zola doing this when he was manager of West Ham. Gianfranco Zola is standing there with like, I can't remember who it is, but it's like Mark Noble or something. And they're standing over a free kick. And he's like, the footage is amazing. They're standing over a free kick. And he's like, what you need to do in this situation? You need to... Whoop, whoop, yeah, like, yeah. Cool, quick. And then Zola goes like this. And Zola just goes, ping! And it goes <laughs> bang into the top corner, right? <clears throat> Mark Noble's like, Gaffer, I, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, give you all the culture. Yeah, like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to come up with a new tactic here, Gianfranco Zola, because I cannot do it. Like, <laughs> that can't. is interesting. Maybe yeah. that's why all the top level managers are all average yeah. players or they're centre backs or defenders on average. Do you I, think mean, it, like? I think it's definitely an indicator as to why the very best footballers, like the very best, haven't cut it. Yeah. Uh, talking major Zidane was obviously here. We are talking about Zidane. Zidane, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zidane, one. Johan Cruyff. Like, like, there, are, there are examples that go the other way. but But Zidane not going to another club is strange to me. You know, it's, it's weird that he hasn't picked up that. I think follow him on Instagram, mate. Follow like him on Instagram. He's living his life, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's having a great time. Where is he? Still in Madrid. He was, he was at the Paris Fashion Week. He's having a great yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Like he's. He doesn't also, prove himself. The, does the he? other thing is as well. Like I, do you know certain things in football? They just infuriate you, don't they? They like hit you hard. Yeah. Like some things, we can be opinionated on and maybe disagree, and it doesn't really matter. And other things, you're just like, don't talk to me. You're an idiot. You know, when people try and be snide about Zinedine Zidane as a manager. You know when they thought like, well, that team was brilliant or well, where was he done now or anyone would win it with that team. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. the geezer won three European Cups in a row. Just shut up. Like, if you're not calling him one of the best managers around and one, arguably one of the best managers ever. Is it three in a row, break one? Or is it just three in a row, then he leaves? Three, three in, in a, a row. row. Three, three European what, Cups in a row. He won. He retained the he European Cup. He won four, Cup but three, three in a row, right? Yeah. Three in a row. Right. Like... That's surreal, man. I just can't. I just can't hear a we, conversation. No one ever you about guys that. thinking about that? Look, we are getting close to kickoff now. Remember, there was an opportunity for someone to win the Super Six jackpot today. All they need to do, well, all that needs to happen in this game is either a one-one, a two-two, or a City win of two-one or three-one, and we could have a winner of that quarter of a million pounds. The teams are out um, right now. They're getting ready to kick off. Some very interesting lineups as well that have come out. Uh, we'll give you the team news before we go over to Bouvi and Rory for their predictions. Edison, Walker, Diaz, Gvardio, Rodri, Akanji seems to be playing a midfield role today. Foden, Alvarez, Silva, Doku and Haaland. Foden being rewarded with a start after he was excellent in the Champions League the other week. Um, when Rory went with his... I mean, Boovy went with his, with his with his mates that he don't seem to tell us about. Um, and then in Spurs' team, we got Vicario in goal, Paro, Emerson, Davies, Udogi, Basuma, La Salso, Johnson, Kulisevsky, Gill, and Son. Um, lads, do you think someone is going to win the jackpot? What's the score going to be today? Man City 3, Tottenham 1. Therefore, somebody will win the jackpot they will 3-1 I'm going yeah. Man City win 3-1 yeah, and they I'd... better win 3-1 as well I'm, I'm loving this plight of Posta Coglu yeah I think they're going to get smashed I love it Posta Coglu's changed by the way hasn't he he's completely changed his persona he was this nice guy and now he looks like he's lost a little bit of weight he's not eating because Mate, he lost three in a row well he's, 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 he's really now. changed his he's attitude to all dress you know when it was all going his way and they played 10-1-8 unbeaten it was like, you know, you have to respect the refs. The refs have a hard job. You've got to like listen to them and let them like make their mistakes. Suddenly, the refs costing his team points and they're struggling. They're losing three in a row. He's like, 
These refs are an absolute joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to the Premier League, I say. And he's got bags Four under his eyes. What do you say, innit? I say, welcome to the there Premier League. That's what he says. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that is the wake up call. We're not in the Australian League anymore. Tottenham just went over league. to their away fans, by the way, to do their sort of huddle yeah, in part, as, as, like, directly in front of. If that doing is, a that's Phil Brown. the biggest performative nonsense. They're doing a Phil Brown. That was at that City. ground as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That was at Jimmy that Bullard. Ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was funny, that. Jimmy Bullard. Yeah, really. Well, he has yeah. to do it. Do you know, every. Jimmy Bullard must have done that, impersonated that thing. A thousand times since. Oh, since like it's yeah. almost become what he's what he does. Known for. Yeah. Is that his career highlight? No. Playing for, yeah. He played for England. He had that one cap for England. His other he career highlight was when he, yeah, he, he played. One, I think so. I think he had one I thought cap. he went to a training camp and never oh, is played. Is that all it was? I might be wrong. That he used to score be bangers, to be fair. Yeah, of course, yeah. He used to score bangers, but his other career yeah, oh, highlight was, was never oh, good as a player. player. When there was a... Very... There loads going on and he just jumped over the crowd. Yes. That was quite funny. Yes, yeah. He used to Duncan Ferguson like when he kind of oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah where, where he's like I'm not messing with him yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah really good player really average player no in terms of he's technically a very average. good player technically he could do things I've really well I've been told well. him I had yeah. zero caps for England but I mean yeah, he didn't, he, he I could have guessed camp. that he, got, he went to a camp no he did something happened with he England. went to Capello's camp yeah he never something, something happened yeah I mean a new sub on a, in a game yeah. if you don't know guys Boovey has zero caps for England same as Jimmy Bullard no but did you get called up by Capello one less than Who's the other one? Uh, Jay Bothroyd's got one for England. Have you David been um, getting ready Nugent? for your hashtag? Do you uh, David Nugent. Thing. What's that? Your hashtag. Uh, yeah, have we. Uh, uh, hashtag what? Have we followed we're going that to up? Play with hashtag, isn't it? We're all going, but we're going there oh, to I'm acknowledge. Not we're, we're going there to acknowledge quite how good they are at football. You're going there to like displace. I'm one. not even joking. I played football yesterday. Yeah, I thought. I saw I'm you're play. wearing gloves I'm on a football pitch. You big. Child. Yeah, I'm Prime and Elka. Just I tweet, I, that's what I posted. Do you not read the caption? You're not Prime and Elka. So you don't read the caption. You've got to read the caption. No, I'm Prime and Elka. Don't wear football gloves. I scored a beautiful little finish yesterday. Whilst playing football, I've got to say, mate, I went out front to get some more fitness in, mate. My legs are killing me. Thank you run less up front. No, you don't. No, you, don't, no, you no, press. No, no, you no, just no. press. No, but not only <laughs> press. <laughs> what? Press. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I tried you know, it. No, no, no. You run a lot, mate. You press. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, no. I, bro, I, I'm, I'm not saying low, I did it well. Yeah. I'm not saying I did it well. I'm just saying six, I, I tend of to do press. Over there. It's the hardest position to play. You know when people go, oh, I'm a bit knackered. I'm going to go up front. You're like, hang on a minute. What? Yeah, it's up hard, front, it's hard. You're running channel, 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 pressing from the front, thankless task. You're running so yeah, many, you make yeah. so many runs, you don't see the ball. Thankless task. But I still did it. I still did it none that'll the do, hard That'll side. do. Come on, City. Smarter, not harder. Doku uh, is exceptional. He? What a player. Yeah. yeah. Greer starting against uh, Leipzig really, really struggled. Really, really, really struggled. And he got subbed for Doku. Hundred million looked, pound waste of money, is it? Uh, you know, back to back Premier League winner, treble winner. But apart from that, it, yeah, it's been a terrible transfer. I'd love Chelsea to sign Jack. Not that we will, but I just think Jack Grealish at the right club. I think he'll do one flourish. more season. I think he'll do. This. I think he'll be linked next summer. You know, wouldn't be surprised if he went back to Villa. He got money. If they're doing, mate, it depends how well. If they're in Champions League or whatever. Ooh. Please don't say that's been given as a foul against the keeper. Yeah, I think it has. That is a disgrace. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and it's painful. Pathetic, isn't it? It's painful. They are a player on the pitch as well. Yeah. That's not a oh, foul, is it? It's nowhere he's near a foul. Head he's jumped for the ball. It's nowhere near a foul. And if anything, the keeper's jumped into There's him. There's literally nothing I in it. I think it's Liverpool, didn't it? Like, I, can't, can't, about it. I know it's not an excuse, Great but touch. I can't yeah. even see him. Kulisevsky. We've got a few Super Chats. Got to read it out. Love the channel, lads. Adam Fort. Oh, for God's sake. Was it so I let's can't even read that, man. I, would, I, would, I wanted to pick this up for you, but... Hang on a second. on yesterday's love, game. Love the me. channel, lads. Adam, thoughts on the performance yesterday? I always knew that Newcastle away would be tough, but the difference... Shut up, man. <laughs> but the difference in <laughs> sport quality was... Effort and quality. You need your readers. Yeah, that is, that's like, mate, I couldn't six, read because you were busy like yeah, having a fight with a water paper. Why don't you just, look, 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 you just look, focus on one thing at a time? Why can't, you, why can't you focus? Mate, squeezing the bottle, making yeah, all that doing, annoying. Bro? What are you doing? It's called hydration, lads. Right. Yeah, you, I, you know, I can drink it, without yeah, you can disturbing drink, yeah, anyone else. The bottle's not very well made. Unbelievable. Just all over the gaff today you are. Why don't we talk about the big issue? You're not getting smashed yet again. Again. Yeah. One nil on paper, you, anyone could lose one nil no, to Newcastle. No. Oh, you, couldn't, you couldn't get a ball up. You couldn't get a ball Hold on a minute. Adam, there's, a, there's a bot coming there, you Please. idiot. <laughs> How about you let people finish their sentences, you absolute buffoon? He's right. Go on, then. He's right. Go on, yeah. then. He's right. But yeah. it should have been four or five, and we were fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. It was, like, so it was, it was horrible. Yeah. It was an abysmal performance. Is it the worst performance I've seen? I don't know you. what the plan is at the moment. I just don't know what's going on. We're bringing a goalkeeper to play out from the back, then you got him hoofing it. You've got Varan sat on the bench. You've got. 
People were going, oh, Maguire looks amazing. Yeah, because we're defending our six-yard yeah. box. Like, yeah, 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 of yeah. course, like, if we sent him to Burnley, he he'd looked, look he amazing. He looked good at Leicester, didn't he, when he was defending yeah, on his own, his like, his own box, yeah. We, we're not playing into the strengths of any of our good players. Everyone's getting onto Rashford and everyone, and I agree, because they've been poor. But the ball, the ball doesn't get out of our... Like, it's just hoofed, long, and then it's a 50-50. We lose the 50-50, Newcastle back on the attack. I don't get what the plan is, what the I idea is, what the football Rashford. is. Did you see Playing Rashford Cobby on the next to McTominay, man. I feel sorry for Cobby. Did you, did you see McTominay's Rashford on the bench? Trash. Did you see what he looked like? McTominay's touched the ball 20 times in two games, by the way. Yeah, he's scoring for you as well. Though. Two, no, no, he's start. one of your biggest goal threats. No, 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 he's not. <laughs> he's he not. weirdly is. He's he weirdly not right. Is. He's not right, though. He weirdly no. is. You're, he scored two scored in the last Rashford. stages against he's Brentford. He's won your highest goal. He scored two in the last stage against Brentford because we were just hoofing it into the box. And he scored the other night. We were watching. He scored way more than Rashford. Don't try and. Tell me he's a good player. He's more than Rashford, I'm just saying. Um, well, I don't think, no, no one here thinks he's, he's a good shit. player. No one so then shut up, then. No, I just think he's scored more <laughs> goals than Rashford. I think he's playing midfield. I just told you. I think you, he's more of a threat than Rashford. I just told you. He's more of a goal I just told you. One of our, yeah, wonder why? Because Rashford can't get a ball because our midfield touches can. the ball 20 times. Yeah. And scores. 20 times a geezer touched the ball in two games. The guy's useless. Yeah, he's he is. He touched it. He touched it. He scored one goal in 20 Midfielders touch the ball 20 times. You've got a problem. Certainly Harlan levels of... Ooh, but again, what was the you, you uh, on Vicario, what, what about Raul Marcus Rashford saying he doesn't want to play for the club anymore on the well, bench? That's not what he said. Is that true? Yeah, it's, it's not what he said. He said, Why have I, I don't know if that was a TikTok no, thing or a fake thing. No, no, it's go, not go, oh, no, no, no. Doku, is it? Go on, son. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, City. Doku, you told me you were good and quick. <laughs> you, got beat, you got beat. That's like you both get your twats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone said a super chat and ask him about Spurs at Etihad. Go on. <laughs> okay, now they gonna... I'm not watching this game. Let's let's I'm, look. I'm, I'm leaving. Look. I'm not watching them win two. I'm sick of, I'm I'm sick of this picture. It's the I've biggest got a game of the season. With Tottenham. I'm not sitting here. Biggest game of the season for all the Spurs you fans. Pick. Honestly, what do you mean me? I'm sat here with you. We've had him cry <laughs> about break, Rashford. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Doku defensively naive against one of the best players in the world going forward. Best players in the world. Keepers had a mare as well. Yeah, near near post, wasn't it? Look at this. Yeah, but he's just he's misread the flight of the ball. No, he's been done, man. He's, he's been got done by Sun. And Near the keeper. Post. Just shit, straight man. through the keeper. Doku there. What were you saying about him a minute ago? Yeah. Oh, mate, he's not Jack a Grealish. Jack Grealish doesn't know. Oh, he's, keeper. he's done it in honor. Oh, he's not a defender, is he? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's Allison. You were about he's to not. question me about Rashford's tackle yesterday. Don't have a what go. About Doku, is the yeah. game finished? You were just about to say, oh, guess what? Pull it out Guess what? The game in St. James's Park is over for 24 hours. It's been over for 24 hours. We're still playing. If you don't sort this out. Seven minutes, yeah? Fucking hell. There's still more time for Spurs. To score again. How about your biggest yeah. player that Man United fans were crying over last season? At this season? rate, 1-0 right, after you, you 7 had a, minutes, You had a box of Kleenex, right, wiping your tears for how much yeah. you love Marcus Rashford. Yeah, let's and he sat on the bench after tears, one bad God. game. He says, what am I doing here? He said, Marcus Rashford's doing that. He's, what am I doing here? He said that on That's how I feel sat next to you every week. <laughs> <laughs> but he actually said it. That, that is true. Also, I actually said it. Realistically, <laughs> where would he... You know if he's thinking, why no, am I here? Where would I be? talking about the great Spurs goal. I don't want to talk about it. A fantastic goal by Spurs. Ref. It wasn't now a fantastic goal. It was a ludicrous in. goal. And Manchester, City re- Manchester City are responsible for their own downfall. So if he didn't That's say that, what did he say on the bench? Spurs, didn't he? What yeah. did he say on the I don't, bench? I, he wasn't happy to be so he said, yeah, why, he said, why am I at Manchester United? They're useless. <laughs> I saw it. I saw the lip reading. I'm, I'm very it was angry. a bad performance when it had. He said, I wish I'd never played for Manchester United. That's what he said. I just I'm, all I'm doing is quoting verbatim what he said. He said, "I wish I never signed for for Manchester he United." He said, "Elephant juice." Not he, I love you. He said, "Some <laughs> what, what am I doing here?" He said, "What am I doing here?" He said to uh, the kid next to him. Oh, oh. yeah, yes. Oh, fuck off! Offside. Back in the game. Is that an old Back goal? in the game, Erling Haaland scored that, any? What's, What's going on? What's going on? on? <laughs> Yes! What is going on? Go on, dig him. Is, is, who is that? Ruben Diaz? Outside. Is it Ruben Diaz? What have they given for it? No, it's, it's nothing. It's a goal. It's, it's, a goal. it's a goal. It's an old goal. They're, they're arguing about trying to get the Come ball back. Come on, son, There's not, you're, you're, you're finding a problem where there yeah, isn't I just, one. I didn't want to celebrate to think they're going to rule no, it no, off. No, no, it's 100% a goal. They'll find a way of ruling the, the this off. No, 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 Harlan's not my way. It's 100% a goal. Harlan's Look, the issue comes because I think Ruben Diaz gets the ball to get the game restarted. And maybe Ben Davis is trying to hang on to it and yeah, like slow so it all it. down. It's an own goal, isn't it? By oh, yeah. It's definitely an own goal. Is that yeah. a son own goal? Scored in both ends already. It's, like it's Craig eight Burley against in. Liverpool in '95. <laughs> <laughs> Should Basuma do better? That's true. Then? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know it is. I know it's true. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Should oh, Basuma yeah. do better there? Yeah. I know it's true, Rory. <laughs> that's why it's so pitiful. Yeah, I believe you. I believe that it's yeah, true. Well, that's the back of a four-four-two mag, isn't it? That is. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's true, mate. These spur shirts are awful. Bro. So what about Thank Rashford then? Are we going to finish? Because we've got a clip to do, haven't we? So we should talk about Rashford, surely. We're not doing a clip. I, no, I we think should we should talk about Rashford. I think we should do an eight-minute clip so on this. Let's start starting from now. Adam, <laughs> why does Mark Rashford hate Manchester United so much? <laughs> why? He does. He genu- go on, son. Oh, he go genuinely on. does. You can tell that he. You can tell that he's not happy. I think the the question's hard for Adam to answer because I think it's a it's very you, open. You're, in, you're asking stupid questions. Can we at least ask why he? You're was, not having a real debate. Can we at least? Like, can we at least ask why, why was he so bad? Right. At least can we at least ask? You're, you're not having a real debate. Why has he scored one goal all season? I'm trying that's to bring it back to normality. I'm trying to bring it back to normality. Scored two goals this season, but okay, one was one open play goal. He's Newcastle. He's poor. No, he was shit. Yeah, that's what. Shocking. But why? Why is that happening to him? I don't know. He's way better than that. Obviously a confidence player. Manchester United have been poor all season. Also, he scored one. He's doing. He scored two. He scored, scored one. He scored, he scored two. No, there was a charity penalty. I don't count the Kai Havertz <laughs> charity. Right, you don't Bruno count Fernandes was like, oh, here you go, mate. You can take it. Come on, son. You yeah, can have a, a go. Like that one. It was yeah. a That's bit. the case. Alan Shearer is not the record. No, no, because he wasn't given charity player. penalties. He was a penalty oh, yeah. taker. Charity Bruno Fernandes penalties. gave a charity penalty. <laughs> it's like in Kai Havertz charity given a charity penalties. penalty. Charity he got every penalty at Newcastle. No, but he was the penalty taker. Charity. Bruno Fernandes doesn't have charity penalties. Okay. But Marks Rashford did have a charity penalty. I mean, he scored it anyway. But um, he's been shit this season, obviously. You need more from him at all. I mean, sons here. Rapid, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. But that was... Uh, who was that? Like Guardio. Yeah, Marcus Rashford has been abysmal this season. Um, do you think he should still be like starting? Like like, do you think he should start? The reason, the reason it's difficult for the manager is you've got... Obviously, there's no Jadon Sancho. Pellistri's young and he's only really effective off the bench. Anthony's shocking. So... Got you're up, you're, but he's playing both of them. You can't. Play, Garnacho's taking can't his play place Garn- on the left wing. Garnacho twice, right? They, they start Garnacho so ahead of Rashford now. Garnacho's usually starting with Rashford, so we haven't really got the wide players. You could argue Martial ties things together better at times. You could play him out on the left, but Rashford last season scored thirty goals for us, so mm. he's obviously one of our biggest goal outputs. You're going to try and rely on him. You're going to try and play him out of his funk and play him into good form because you, ultimately you need Marcus Rashford playing well, right? Because he's a top. So why do you play him right team. wing then? Why would why would because why Garnacho's is Eric Ten Hag doing well at the moment? Yeah, exactly, but why is and Eric Ten Hag doing poor. that? Dude, literally, just what I've said. No, but got, I'm not. I'm not having. I'm not going to go at you, you. I'm just saying. No, no. But I've Eric Ten Hag's got this, this jewel. It's amazing. Play. He's got, got thirty goals last season. Why play him out of position then? He's only played him out of position. He's very rarely played him out of position. By the way, he's not played out of position. I'm just. Uh, yeah, I talked about Newcastle so he, yesterday. So that's you, what I'm. So he's I'm not, referring to Newcastle. But him playing out of position is an excuse for his bad form. It could be an excuse for his bad performance yesterday. Yeah, yeah, of course. But then he's doing simple things poorly yeah he was he's yeah. doing basics poorly mm. and the, that's the problem for me like I think United's issue at the moment is we're not playing through midfield so therefore when your attackers pick up the ball whether it's Bruno who's coming deep because the, the midfield's not functioning whether it's Rashford or who's not go on oh. ah! <laughs> Harlem missed the city yeah, no. six yards out. Tottenham played themselves into all sorts of trouble. Six there. yards out, you won't by believe, the way. You won't if believe. that was Darwin Nunes. Watch how this comes about. What the f- Tottenham are just playing. Tottenham trying to play out in the back. Well. Play themselves a good little ball. Great. Oh, he's oh, scuffed it. He's like shinned it. I he's think. in line with the penalty touch. spot. Dead centre. Literally could have touched that. Eight yeah. yards out. Look, oh, he's missed it. He could have touched it that way and round. Could have even just laid it off to the That's the best striker in the world. All capable of it. He's not now because of Kane's form. Yeah. Last season he was. I think Kane was last Kane, season as well. Yeah, fine. There's Kane, a debate, I yeah. think. This season Kane's just gone Yeah. Kane's way left beyond. everyone. Way yeah. beyond. Yeah, I agree. He's beaten Lewandowski records for yeah, playing, playing, in, playing in Germany, bro. No, yeah, but, but we didn't say this when it Lewandowski was Lewandowski. Won a treble. When Lewandowski was scoring all these goals, everyone was like, he's the best striker in the world. Lewandowski won a, tr- a Champions now, League. Now Kane's doing it. won the Champions League as well. Kane, That's why people said Lewandowski should get... Yeah, but Kane can't, he hasn't won the Champions League Kane can't have won a Champions League yet. Yeah, exactly. So when he wins it, if he wins it, yeah. and he's top yeah, goal yeah. scorer in Europe, yeah. let's talk. But yeah. yeah, that's true. Can't say he's a, I wouldn't swap him for Haaland. Haaland's doing it in the Premier League week you, in week out. Not, right, I, 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 actually, sitter, I, right? I would. I would for, for yeah, he's a better player a season, than for a season. He's a far better Shit, player yeah. He is a far better player yeah. than Haaland. Booby not says even he wants to swap Haaland for Kane. It's not, no, I don't. It's not I don't controversial. Do I? To you do, say that, just that Kane I wouldn't is swap him player. for City in the long term as a City fan. I love yeah. him to bits and he loves the club. I'm saying in a one off game, Kane is slightly better. Kane's a better player today. <laughs> he's not a younger, he's not a better prospect, but he's a better player today. Slightly. Erling Haaland's a better goal scorer, I think. He's not. He's not a better finisher he's than not Kane. A better finisher than Kane. I hate saying better goal scorer. Kane, I don't he's, think, not, he's not a better goal scorer. Haaland gets himself into better positions. He's, he's around the box constantly. I think in terms of like, if you've got a one on one. Mate, you just don't like Harry Kane. Like, I like Harry Kane. I don't have an issue with Harry Kane. Kane. Harry Kane played for Spurs all the like, Why you do I hate, care about Harry Kane? You always Kane? hated him. 
I don't, I don't hate him. You do. You I always call him a loser. He's a loser. He's a loser. Oh, yeah, he is a loser. Yeah, he he doesn't like Kane. <laughs> I do like Kane. I think Kane's... I call Kane the best striker in the world for a long time. Mm. But he's doing it in Germany, bro. Yeah, but that was never the narrative when, when other good strikers... But the reason it wasn't about Lewandowski is... Lewandowski, no one ever said Lewandowski should win the Ballon d'Or till he won the Champions League. That's true. That is true. No, no, but nobody's saying that Harry Kane should win the Ballon d'Or. And that's no, but we're calling him the best striker in the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. i take Haaland. No. That's, that's, I mean, I think it's la, close. last season, last season, it was Kane, last season it was Kane as well. Kane scoring all those goals. What did he score? Nearly thirty for Tottenham, who finished eighth. I think so it's a more, it's a more impressive output than scoring. If, if Kane went to City and, and you gave him the Haaland role, just holding up the you know, right at the top of the pitch, he'd score more. He hit Messi, Ronaldo, not type numbers last year. Yeah, yeah, but playing for City, who won the treble. But no one used to say that about Messi. Oh, he's playing for Barcelona, who won the treble. So of course he's going to score sixty mm. goals. No one said that. No, Messi. I think it's the nature of the so player as well. Because a lot of it, a lot of it would be him doing it himself rather than having Grealish and Bernardo like Silva. Aguero and Phil is a goal, uh, a goal scorer that many of us, we all put in our top ten Premier League strikers. Yeah, definitely. He never ever did that. He never got close to doing that. No, different in, team, injuries, though, wasn't it? Injuries. No, but they're very similar in the way they created chances. You had Sterling scoring thirty goals a season. Yeah, but the goals like, were shared out. It wasn't. That's the point, isn't it? Like the, the goals, the goals in the Aguero team were shared out far more than like aiming for the I target. I think we're man. re. I think it's quite unfair because I get it as well. I think Kane's better at certain things, but because yeah. ha, because Erling Haaland oh. aesthetically isn't as pleasing on the eye, and he's a bit. <laughs> Help me out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a bit like awkward and weird. Like he'll stick his leg up here, and it's weird, and it, it don't matter, look though. great. Mm. But he gets into those positions. But it matters. On real goals, I don't think matters. he's even close to being anywhere near as good a footballer or good as goal scorer or striker, whatever you want to call it. He's nowhere near as good as Kane. He's a brilliant player, and I believe that he should have won a Ballon d'Or last year for what City Most achieved. He is near. The world, he is near. Erlingard. He's not nowhere near. I, I think he's. I think he's. If Kane's maybe a ten the best, out of ten, he's a nine point five. I think he's maybe the best of the. The rest, but I don't think I don't think he's near. I think Kane, Kane I think, and Haaland are in a league of their own. I think Kane is in a league of his own. That's interesting. Yeah, I think Kane is in a league of his own, and then I think Haaland probably is as well in a league of like I think Haaland is probably in. If you had to do it as a, as a, Kane a scale, in, Kane's a ten out of ten. Yeah. I agree with you, and I'd say Haaland's a nine point five. I think Kane is incomparable. And then Lewandowski is now an eight, and and all these other yeah, players no. around them are eights yeah. and sevens. Who's the, who would you say is the next best in the Premier League? Because it's it's a real drop off after this. Who do you, who, even Tony Salah? Him, like, is it no as, a as, forward, a, as an as forward archetypal forward. centre forward though? Like, Tony. is it is it Tony? Is it Watkins? Is it Son as a striker? Because he just scored a great goal now. Tony, yeah. isn't it? is Tony better than Watkins? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah better, better. Watkins is class, but I think is Tony Tony's definitely better. better than Watkins. I, I, yeah, I yeah. personally, I think it's no brainer. Do you? But some other people might. Osman's three. But personally, Probably. I feel like uh, Ivan Tony being better than. Then uh, Watkins is a no brain. He won't go though to the Euros, will he? No, I mean that's, that's a shame. That's a Southgate thing, isn't it? No, yeah. Let's, let's not he won't go. Stuff. Rashford won't go. Um, there'd be loads left out. Gordon will. Gordon goes. Gordon he goes. Was exceptional. Gordon goes. Another winner. Oh. Off this. This. What's he got? Six Premier League goals now. Off the back of being England's best player at the under twenty ones. Yeah. He was player of the tournament, in fact, at the end. Player of the tournament. Uh, the last player for Newcastle scored England four consecutive like home Gordon, games. You're not winning shit, by the way. Gordon's brilliant. I don't think you should start for England. I, I've not said that. He probably doesn't start, but he definitely goes, Gordon. But he, he should go as well. He deserves to go. There's not been a player for Newcastle since Alan Sherry scored in four consecutive home games for Newcastle. Mm. It's a serious record that he's got, you know. Four consecutive home games. Home games he's scored that, since that, Alan Shearer. Pretty that, irrelevant, that's, isn't it? It's like Douglas Louise scoring six. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it says... Yeah. All right. yeah. No, it's not relevant. Right. It's not relevant. What now? Is it's not Shearer? relevant. No. I use the point to illustrate that he's, a, he's doing well. Yeah, he's in done consistently goal well. Scoring. He's in a hot streak. He's also, in a hot streak. Also, that, he's doing it for a Newcastle team. Euros. Depleted. Yeah. Also, what a week they've had, by the way. They batter Chelsea last week. They go to Paris Saint-Germain, get robbed, Very unlocky, and then beat Man United. Them. They should have beaten. Imagine if they'd beaten Paris Saint-Germain as they deserve to. They should have beaten yeah. Chelsea. Beat I thought Man they United. were going to finish top of that group. Remember when I was saying it at the start? And they won't now. Although this, they, they got a twenty percent chance. Good chance now, yeah. So what is it? They beat AC. They they need Paris Saint-Germain to lose or to not win. I think uh, they'll beat AC. Where's, no, no, where's Paris playing Dortmund in Dortmund? I think so. Yes. Yeah, it must be in it. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, I think they'll go through now, Newcastle. Though they deserve it, I like I, I didn't really want them to, but I now want them to because of what happened what to them they in get Paris. Europa? But that'd be good for them in a way. I know they won't agree with this, but in a way, it could do them world of good because I don't think they'll win the Champions League, but I do think they would win the Europa. 
and it would yeah, end yeah. their drought. It would end their uh, kill their Premier League form of getting it, back into the Champions League. No, but they could get in if you win the Europa League. You get. Yeah, in the I hate. League. I hate this argument. It's a nice bonus getting back into the Champions League by winning the Europa League. It's a, it's a nice bonus. Mm. I don't think you can build your season around it. Arsenal did it a couple. No, no, of, but why would seasons. they? Wait, why? Unai Emery did it. At Arsenal. I don't he think said they'll build their season. Win, right. yeah, but Arsenal were a little bit ahead of trying to get back in the Champions League. They got to the Europa League final. All these Arsenal fans were saying it's a, it's a route back to the Champions League football. You could lose the final. No, of course, but I don't think that you. Um, I don't think that you stop playing in other ways. I don't, think, you, I don't think that they'll you, dedicate their entire yeah. life and, and entire raison d'etre to being a, a Europa League team. No. I just think that they'll do their best to win the Europa League. I think that they'll probably be one of the best teams in it. Oh, definitely. And yeah, yeah. they'll be capable of winning it. And then what they'll get is they'll get the luxury of ending their trof- trophy drought. Yeah. And remember, qualifying for the Champions League this year, let's say it's four, it might be five, but let's say it's four. I think Newcastle are capable, don't get me wrong, I certainly think they're capable of fifth, but there's no guarantees. No. Whereas it's just great to have other options, isn't it? It's great to have another way, it's another bonus. Yeah, I just when when sides say oh, ball we... into the box, balls bouncing it's like, around. Say Chelsea, say, say Chelsea win the Euro, uh, the League Cup. Right? I'd, lo- I'd love Chelsea to win the League Cup. The reason I want Chelsea to win the oh, League no. Cup is because it will be a silver, uh, some silver. silverware. It will be that's historic. more of a bonus. It's more but, bonus. But if we do win it, the yeah. League Cup, it gets into Europe. It's great. Yeah. It's not. It's not the point of winning the trophy, yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. a great it's a, it's a bonus. Isn't it? Yeah. As it stands, yeah. By the way, one-one was one of the scores as well. Now probably going to be a few more goals. Never know. But it's as it early stands, one-one so um, in this game. We've got a few more super chats which we've got to read. Out. Uh, you've been given 150 million pounds to fix your club's biggest problem in January. How do you spend it? I mean, ours is so I mean, easy. It's re- it, City actually have that. Ours is so easy. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like yours? Like before we say who, do you think Manchester United is is solved easily? I think Chelsea is suddenly a completely different team with one huge acquisition. Striker. Yeah. What about you, Man United? Can where do I start? Is it is it is it not as easy? Can I as buy that? two players for semi? Yeah, yeah, of course million. you can. You got hundreds because oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do exactly that. I mean, I just don't know. I'm not. I'm not thinking because there's nowhere to fix. I'm thinking because there's so many. Places. I think we need a centre back. The Chelsea one's easier. Is your is your well, answer not big money on a centre? If I was Man United chairman, I'd go right. What we're going to do is we're going to sign a central midfielder who's brilliant, and we're going to sign a goalkeeper who's not an honor. Already, uh, yeah. You replace Onana. I don't. I I, I wouldn't replace Onana. Yeah. Um, you think it's over for well, him why not? in terms of being the player? What, that what you have need. you seen? What have you seen to suggest I'm wrong? I'm just wondering because it's early. Do you That's think all I'm wrong? saying? I, mean, I don't really think good you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. He's been very good in the Premier League. No, he's not been very it's not, it's not, uh, Statistically, no, 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 he's, no, no, statistically he's the best goalkeeper. Mate, you sound league. like I heard Ten Hag talking like no, this. But I thought it was pitiful. It's true. He's, he's been not been terrible very good. Times, got, he even, been. even yesterday, it's without hyperbole. him, we lose 3 4 nil. He hasn't been very good in the Premier League either. But I'd say he's, he's not been bad. We're not saying he's been bad, bro. Facts. Like most, like he's been, he's been abysmal in the Champions League. Yeah. And he's been he's been pretty good. Okay, in the but Premier those League. stats don't tell the full story. We all watched him on the first day of the season try and give a try and, try and give a penalty away in the last minute of the game and got away with it. So right. that doesn't count as one of the stats against right, him. So, do you know okay, what I mean? Because so... it didn't happen. But he still he still nearly uh, cost just, your... go on, what you. Spurs are in. I don't understand. Like what? I don't understand. Like the the stats right, that no, you're no, referring okay, to. Yeah, no, so but the clean st- sheet don't count. But the stats that you're referring to won't take that into consideration. That is that should be brought into consideration. He was completely incorrectly ruled to have not given away a penalty. Right. So we're judging. People are fouls that aren't given. Uh, no, you're judging it off stats. You're going statistically, he's the best. I'm going, well, the stats no, no, don't bring that into account. Also, I'm like, saying, let's just judge bro, him from our eyes. He's, he's made more saves out of anyone because he has to. The amount of work we put him under is a joke. Mm. Yeah, like, of course. He's got like, issues ahead of him. Like, even against Galatasaray, we could argue, yeah, he's got to save both of those free kicks. He should be saving them with his eyes closed. Yeah. But, bro, we kept giving free kicks away on the edge of the box. It's like, we're not protecting our defense. We're not protecting our goalkeeper. Mm, but if you and actually, when you look at the amount of shots he's faced, yeah. he's saved more of them than. But you know, goal- you know, when you sign a goalkeeper, and you know, you can know pretty quickly. It's like when we signed Bravo. You know, within yeah, yeah. A, within a few weeks, he's just not. Uh, I haven't seen any, like like I say, he's, well, been, he's the, been night and day in the Premier League. The goalkeeper, yeah, yeah. the goalkeeper, looked like launching the ball into his own area, throwing throwing the ball into his own goal has oh. absolutely brilliant from Fernandez, uh, Silva. The, the um. When a goalkeeper launches the ball into his own goal, it's very difficult to go back and go, Bruno Fernandes shouldn't have given away that free kick. It's very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations there. You managed to drink silently. You did well. (laughs) Um, But like, for me, Andre and I... So you sign a new keeper? I'll sign a new keeper for Man United. I think it's a a little bit early. 
a little bit because he's so he's not he's not like old. You know, he's still quite a young keeper. Relatively, yeah, but that's, he's, not, but he's that's a young the keeper. Point, he could improve. It? But that's the point. He's a twenty-seven-year-old goalkeeper. Yeah. So you know when they signed David de Gea, yeah, and he's twenty. When you sign a twenty-year-old goalkeeper, you kind of learn together, right? Yeah. The mistakes you, you are along the way. That you're, yeah. You're there's a learning curve, and yeah, together yeah, you will yeah. grow. The yeah. club will make mistakes. It's it's a journey for everyone. When you sign a goalkeeper for 50 million quid, who's got a pre-existing relationship with a manager, yeah. who I played in into... played in the most recent Champions League final, yeah. who's 27 years old, you're signing a goalkeeper for today. It's yeah. not about what's he going to be like. Is he growing? Yeah, Is he yeah. developing? So like, mate, hang on a minute. You're the answer to the prayer. You aren't, you aren't, we aren't praying for you again. So I, I think they need a new goalie. 50 million quid is a lot of money as well. It's a lot of money. It's one of the most expensive signings ever in the position. And he was in the Champions League final. The whole point of him was... This is it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, he's Ten Hag. Yeah, he's yeah, Ten Hag. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that means. You know what I mean? Mm. So I think I think he's done at United. I really do. And I, but I hope they I hope they persevere. I don't, obviously, because I don't think he's good enough. So I want him to stay as long no, as That's what I'm saying. I hope they know. persevere. Yeah. I hope they persevere. I mean City were ruthless. Bravo from Barcelona, just won the league title of Barcelona. He was absolutely rubbish. By the way, just to say just to show that I'm not kind of doing this without oh. with 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 any kind of tribalism. I think Chelsea need a new goalkeeper. We just signed Robert Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. I think we need a new goalkeeper. You can tell the keeper saying, very easy, very quick. I'm not quick. saying anything about Man United or oh, holding them to a to a level that I wouldn't hold my own club to. Mm. Robert Sanchez is pony. Yeah, yeah. Absolute pony. Yeah, yeah. Get a new goalie. Yeah. It's one of those positions you can you can sort out pretty quickly. Someone like Oblak, for example, if you signed him, oh, if, if that was available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what, um, you, what we made, where we made the mistake is we went and signed the keeper that weren't getting a Brighton team. <laughs> 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 Mate, I tell you what, you oh. know, you know, you know. Today, it's an amazing, it's an amazing sort of turn of events. Chelsea's fixture was sort of rejigged in order to accommodate this, because we had to dance to the tune of Brighton because they're in European football and we're not. Yeah. That's how crazy, how is how is a Chelsea Brighton fixture being moved for Europe and it's not us Brighton. moving it and it's not us moving the fixture. <laughs> they're doing well in uh, Europe as well. Aren't they? Yeah, big win for them. Yeah, they're doing. I really think well. that win though in the week had an impact on them today. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard think, to win. I think Bloom will be thinking, "Can we win this? Let's just let's just win it. It's once in a lifetime opportunity." Do you know? Do you know one of the biggest? You know, sometimes with football, you have these like moments, and you're just like, "It's not the game. The game has changed." I got a notification on my phone a month or so ago. I looked at it, and it was Ajax nil, Brighton two. Not in a friendly. Crazy. Not in a friendly. Crazy. How are they yeah, even yeah, playing yeah. each other? First, I've had that moment a couple. How of times are they playing that, each yeah. other? Honestly, yeah. And then secondly, <laughs> Ajax. Away, Brighton. away. The only reason Brighton should ever be playing Ajax away is a pre-season tour of Holland. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, R ludicrous. Result. That's crazy, man. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Who would you sign with hundred fifty million quid? Chelsea goalkeeper yeah. centre forward, easy. <laughs> Any names in particular? What we, we're playing Dreamland here. Right? I think I think Victor Oi! Osman. Oh fuck me! City have given a ball away. That's, That's rubbish from Gill. Uh, Brian Gill. Centre forward. Centre forward is difficult, but. If we're playing the, I kind of think it's more more fun to play the game realistically, and realistically, I'm going to go for maybe a Tony or a, because like we're not signing Victor Rossman, like Victor Rossman isn't signing for Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? Like 150 it, mil, you, that bid would work. I don't think, in my he, opinion, I don't there's think, a chance it could. But work. Also, whoever, also, is he worth 150 million? Also, but Os Osherman's going to kind of have his choice of clubs, isn't Italy. he? Yeah, yeah. Have another Lukaku on your But Napoli are hard to deal with. That's that's the only rationale from my perspective. Mm. I think you're right, but. I'd, I'd look, if we could, then Osterman. Okay, let's, let's. They've they've come out and said he's worth hundred. They want hundred and fifty. Yeah. He's not leaving. Look at look at um, Koulibaly. He never left till the money yeah. was right. Yeah, yeah. And then he was way too. That old. is so poor by a doggy. Yeah, it was his Here ball, wasn't it? Go on. I think I'd go Osterman up front and then a keeper, but I don't even know for the keeper. Keepers, they There's don't. Not many out I there. saw Donnarumma having a like. He's awful. Mate, yeah. like. Should have stayed at AC Milan. What happened? Yeah, yeah. What happened to like? Good goal. They were slagging them off, weren't they? The AC Milan fans. Like even if you look at Edison's conce the goal that Edison yeah, conceded today, the goal that Allison's con Allison conceded last week. Do you remember when there were just like an abundance of brilliant goalies around? Yeah, yeah. Everyone like, had it. Blackburn also, you know, had if one. If Mbappe played for any other club, he'd be the biggest villain about you know. The way the way that he's allowed to just he's basically owns PSG and they, they give him basically the red yeah, carpet. Yeah. I would not want him at my club. No, they made no, him no. they made him the de facto sporting director. Like it's really their own bad. fault though. It's like their own he fault. He picks the signings. He picks this. All right, he's a, he's a very good player, but but he oh. they, like, when they you got a player running it. They made him the the sporting director. It's embarrassing, if anything. Yeah. And now you look at it. You look at the team. It's just full of players that he's picked his mates and that, and they're all shocking. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my days, man. <laughs> Doku's, Doku's just hit, hit the ball. Bar. The bar and the post. I oh, think it rattled was both. Was it both? Yeah. Oh, it Doku's been exceptional upright. today, man. Apart from when he can see what's, the goal. Yeah, what's apart from when he lets thinking right now. In on goal. You know. And score. Yeah, he lets Look him score. Oh, no, but I don't think you can hold him to that high a stand defensively. Uh, 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 He's joking. So... So, he, so look, your wingers, you don't hold him to account. No, 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 Did he work no, hard to run straight. back? We understood. No, but come on. Did he run back? He did. He looked bad defensively. He still put the effort He covered the ground. No, sorry. No? Okay. You've lost me here. Defensively, it was a moment of a lack of quality. He got it completely wrong. But he still tried hard. He was just a little bit naive defensively against Sun. As long as when other players for other clubs put in the effort but get it wrong, you acknowledge the effort. Yeah, I think I have, haven't I? No, I don't think so. You don't think I'm I'm fair in, in assessment when people I've, I've get never beat heard, defensively, but at least try. I've never ever heard you go. Well, the guy tried really hard, but he got it wrong. I have loads mm-hmm. of times. It's a weird thing to even flag. It doesn't matter how hard you try if you get it wrong, does it? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I think Doku was, he had his no. We don't know what you're trying to say. No, his, his intention. That's why, was, that's why we're here. His intention. His intention was right in tracking back. No, he's he got a, done he's by a, he better a soul player. whose intentions were good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. But he was also oh, misunderstood. Mate, their link up oh, play today, Spurs have been shocking. Basuma's just knocked out of play. Oh. They're oh, living on a so thin line, man. these lot, aren't they? Living on a thin line. Who's that again? The Kings. Von the Kings. Yeah. Living Kings. On a... It's in, it's in uh, a great Sopranos, Sopranos episode, mm. that. Yeah, yeah. When they kill Tracy. Mm. Tracy? Who's Tracy? Was yeah, it the the stripper. Prostitute out of the back. Oh, it's right. mad <laughs> because when I went to the Bing, yeah, me and, me and um, Jay walked around at the back where that happened. And even though it's like a death in a in, in a, a series, yeah. it felt eerie. Really? Like, ooh, that's this crazy. Is, this is where she got. Oh, do you know what? I was, I was watching an episode fairly recently, right? Go on. Oh, here we go. Go on, Alvarez. Go on. Holden's in. What Tap in. What Beautiful. What Look at that. It's intricate passing there. Phil Phone's having a, a low key, amazing season. Scored a great goal against Leipzig. And now it's another goal against Spurs. His well, first ever goal for City passing. was against, uh, against Spurs. That's in the another Premier League. problem for Grealish because Foden's playing well, Doku's playing well. Those are the two positions yeah, yeah, yeah. you ideally want to fill. It'll be a long season, though, for Jack. It'll be a long season for City, I mean. So Jack Grealish will get his moments. City season goes well. They'll play 60 games. Do you know, like, he will feature. He will get loads of games. But look, at, he's making impact. Um, Doku, man. Look at this. On the Super oh, Six. Easy, easy. Then there were three. Haaland, Doku. Um, so at the moment, we've got one prediction of 2-1, which is as it stands. Lovely Alvarez. Oh, Another so one good. hoping for a City goal, 3-1. And another hoping for Spurs to get an equaliser. Um, God, it's so good, man. And his finish against Leipzig, I'm assuming you didn't you didn't watch that game, obviously, lads, but the finish was incredible. Yeah. He, t- he takes it first time uh, and, he, and he slots it past no, the Leipzig it's a beautiful keeper. Goal. Really He's in a really good vein of form, Phil Foden. It really is. No, it's fantastic. Uh, fantastic goal. Do you, know, do you know what? I was watching an episode fairly recently and you know how we always do the joke? It's a retirement community. <laughs> Guess what happens, Sauls? Yeah, I've, I've never picked up on this because obviously we've done... I've never picked up on this. Like, season six, I think. Oh. He's talking to Dr. Melfi. Yeah. Dr. Melfi goes to him, You put your mum in a really nice retirement community. And he goes, It's a nursing home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. He like totally switched up on her for saying what he always, he always said. Though. Yeah. He always does that. I think that was the point, wasn't it? That he was just never happy with what, anything. Whatever. It would, like, whatever, whatever anything it gets very dark. Just after, argumentative. Like, season four. Five. After Kev Infinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that. Once, That's season six, isn't it? Yeah, once that, once he kind of wakes up from Junior shooting him. It that all, whole Junior thing is great. Like the final episode, yeah. he, Junior doesn't even remember What's the guy. What's the name? Yeah, like, Cena, I don't sad. know. It's yeah, one of the most saddest scenes sad, ever. So sad. Mate, Nobody goes, you, that, you, you're there you like, my yeah, dad you're still a lonely old guy. It's like, it's like the Irishman by Scorsese. Yeah. Have you seen the yeah, Irishman? It's like I've only seen it once. Mate, what's the name of the guy? that? So Junior Soprano is basically thinking that... Malanga. Pussy Malanga. Yeah, Pussy Malanga. I don't know, man. Malanga. Pussy <laughs> 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 Malanga. <laughs> and he runs up and hides in the cupboard. But if you he? remember, sad, man. you know, at the start of season one, mm. when Tony blows up for Suvio because Junior yeah. wants to kill someone, who does he want to kill? Pussy Malanga. Pussy Malanga. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what he wants to kill, Pussy Malanga. Because uh, wow. he goes, who does he want to kill? Your pussy? No, not my pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pussy Malanga, right. Yeah. Malanga. Yeah, Malanga. There's a cricket player called that, isn't it? Don't know. Malanga. Sri Lankan. No uh, idea. I'm sure. But, um, <laughs> but now it all gets very sad at dementia, man. Yeah, that scene 
when he runs because Karate when he goes, you, and you, Hines, and my, you and my dad used to run New Jersey, and he goes, Did we? That's nice. Yeah. And he's just, he, just, yeah. he has no idea. It's that, and you know, the yeah. afterlife scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he's telling his dad, when he's talking to his dad, and his dad remembers him, and he, he starts crying. And oh that. my God. That's Can't like, it's, nothing. That's, it's a deep he, show. He just I, need that, to, I need to rewatch it. It's been a couple of years. His dad remembering him. It's mm. like, oh, How mate, often do you rewatch it? What, like Soprano? Yeah, a couple of, I'm it, constantly watching it. No, I'm not. Right. I, do you I, know, like, when I need a break. I couldn't do that. When I'm bored, I'll stick an episode on, but I could like go a month without watching an episode. No, I I do. I go in. I go in for the full thing, starting at. Oh, Alvarez has hit the post. I go in to do the full, the full shebang once every four years. Yeah, I'm about that. I do the. I start from. I start from beginning to end, and I do the same with the wire. I got that. Yeah, the wires on now TV as well. I do the same with the wire. Oh, Alvarez hits the post. Do you like season two of the wire? Yeah, which everyone doesn't like. Yeah, I don't. I I like all. Do you of like? Do you like season it, two? It builds up. It's slow, isn't it? Mm, very slow. Yeah. I like it. Season two is not really. When you know what's coming, it's mm. good, right? Yeah. I imagine watching it in the time. Yeah, like, live. I it? never watched it live. The the, I'll tell you the only thing I skip in The Sopranos. I don't like the dream. Yeah. yeah. Heavy infinity. Oh, I love it. Don't like it. Don't you get the meanings? And no, stuff? No. No, I get it. I is it a whole episode? Really, no, it's, it's like four episodes. It's like two, but it keeps going in and four. out. It does go to real yeah. life, though, doesn't yeah. it? it? cuts. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like this. I games. like them. No, I don't. Like, oh, oh, go on. They've lost. The Spurs have lost it. Spurs are shoddy today. Yeah, oh, no Harlan. Oh, Kane scores Jesus. that. Harry Kane scores that. Jesus. He's top scorer, Harlan, by about five or six goals. He's yeah, but there's 15, no and other he's scorer. still. Yeah, but yeah, but he's, his numbers are still outrageous. I know, mate. no, of course he's. But, mate, he's, but he's still not at a level where I think. He was my shout for the Ballon d'Or. I think. Yeah, he, yeah, I think course, he's a yeah. truly brilliant footballer. But I'm just saying, I don't know where all the good strikers have gone. Like, why he's is been he's here? Where everyone had one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Look at like, you know, Newcastle had Les. First if down, Erling like, Haaland is the best striker in the league, which everybody thinks he is, yeah. the second best striker in the league is arguably the Brentford striker. Yeah. Like that's mental. Where's where's the where's rest? Kevin Phillips and Niall Quinn? Yeah, all, all like where even the Aubameyangs, even the like Yakubu, underrated. Campbell. You've got Viduka. I didn't expect Viduka. Very Viduka, very good. Very good player. You rescued yourself with Viduka. No, Yakubu was good. I didn't nah, nah, to nah. go Yakubu. Like nah, nah, nah. You think he wasn't that good? Yakubu he had a season, like, didn't he? Yakubu was. Yakubu scored was like twenty in all where did he go, like where multiple was he times. Portsmouth, Everton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he at Borough as well? Borough, Everton, Borough. Yeah. He was shit at Everton. Yeah. He was finished by Everton. He had like three seasons where he scored 20 goals in all comps or something like that. And he was one of the high scorers in the league for like three or four we years. We need to fact check that. Fact check that. Fact Someone check Google that. that. Yeah, I, I think he said it in such that. a way that makes me believe him. I saw a clip about it. I was like, done, yeah, 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 yeah. was like new underrated. When did you watch, what, did, what Premier League years did you watch? It was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. When I was back home. But yeah, Yakubu was a... And they played together, him and Paducah at Middlesbrough. He never felt like a... Yakubu never felt... Drum roll, please. Is Boovy correct? Has scored over 20 goals once in his career. What is it then? No, no, no. Jack's cherry picked the stat that works for him in the back room. Doesn't work for him. He's got no Jack. No, but here's the thing. If Jack's going to participate in the stream, he's got to be on camera. Is he on camera? It okay, so we can't it, do it then. It, it, Only well, us three can vote, participate. Yeah? Does Jack need to be on camera? No. no. Oh, right, <laughs> Democracy. There's something yeah. like that where he scored loads of goals three times in a row or something what, like he that. He scored in three games in a row once. <laughs> 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 yeah, underrated though. Kevin Davies, what a handful he was. He had that year, didn't he, with Quinn? That there was an era of... Remember when England, England were just like... Oh, Kevin Davies. Not Phillips, he couldn't move for good strikers for England. No, that's what I'm saying. Andy Cole, like Andy Robbie Cole Fowler, Alan Shearer. Yeah, Matt Letizia. Teddy Sheringham, yeah. Matt Letizia, Chris Sutton, yeah, no, the, the Ricky list, Lambert. List goes, no, no, why? No, where? That's, that's, Ricky Lambert. That's, 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 like, that, that's about I'm just talking about, I was thinking about the, 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 whole, the fact he got an England cap, he went to the World Cup and all that. <laughs> Somehow. No, I, I think, I don't understand. Do you know the other conversation I was having? You know, you know when we were young, Fustino, Italian football. Yeah. Like how oh, good yeah. Italian football was, and 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 how used to so, get their dregs. so many marquee footballers over the years were Italians. Alessandro Del Piero was so iconic. Gianfranco Zola so iconic. Zani. Fabrizio Ravanelli so iconic. Gianluca Vialli so like the list goes on and on and on and on. Where are these glorious? Where's the Totti of today? Where's yeah. the Del Piero of today? It's been coached Where's out. Where's the Skilacci Remember Massimo of today? Macaroni and he went to he went to Macaroni. They got to the final. He <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. played in that. They won, didn't he? Five, they won five four, didn't yeah. they? Against Alves. 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 It's what. Uh, yeah, but it's true. Where is? Where is? Well, I, I always saw a thing about uh, 
at Guardiola when he was at Bayern Munich that the German football fans hated him, a lot of them, because they thought he was coaching the individual character of football away from people. So everyone... Yeah, was, was and maybe Guardiola-ism has kind of taken all these individual players away from the game. So yeah, you look at Jack Grealish, for example. Yeah, what he'd is be he? a maverick Intain. elsewhere, wouldn't he? Yeah. Jack, Jack Grealish at another club, maybe even Tottenham under Postacoglu. He would be a total maverick who would almost play by his own rules. You know the way that... You, do you remember the old school? He's got a free role. Yeah. Do you remember there are certain players, Matt yeah. Tissier at Southampton, yeah. free role, no responsibility, get him the ball, see what happens. The only time I've seen that in the last decade is Lionel Messi at the World Cup. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Can you win in, with that in club football? If it's Lionel Messi, yeah. But if it's nowadays, it's just very functional. The, Managers the, have got, yeah. right, I need my left back to do this. Mm. I need my right but back to do that. So then if you fall out of that, all of a sudden it looks Mate, crap, it's got to it? the stage now, though, where you know if you are a bit of a maverick and you do something a little bit oh. wild. Say you do something a little bit wild. A little, say, say, for example, I don't know who. Phil Foden picks the ball up here and does something off the wall. Not what he's been coached to do, just off the wall. I think it's more likely to get you, if it doesn't result in a goal, it's more likely to get you substituted than applauded but, by but your But the manager, manager yeah. mentally notes it, doesn't he? Yeah. So then it's like, all right, he's I not listening to, do that, listening to what I'm saying. I did not do that, yeah. yeah. And, and, and yeah. plus managers are like, if once you get 30 yards out, yeah. I want my full back here, you need to pass yeah. it there. And, then he, and it's like, if you're not doing that, and do you know, you're do you know, wasting you, his time for getting up. The last side to win the Premier League in that fashion with individual character is Leicester City. Every side since uh, Man City, Liverpool, functional. Could you not argue mm. that? You know, Salah's brilliant. Could you not argue De Bruyne's brilliant, that they had a very distinctive style of play, though, Leicester City? No, but it, it was very sulky what smash on the break. football. Mm. But it, it was, that was a style, right? Yeah, within of course. Its, course. Within itself. But, but it but allowed no, Ran Mahrez to be individual Ranieri, and floating. Ranieri didn't force players out of their natural. So Riyad Mahrez scoring a goal at the Etihad, actually, for Leicester doing a step over smashing at home with his right foot mm. that was that was the spontaneous brilliance of Mares. that wasn't part of of Ranieri's devil's advocate did we not get to see that from Mares at City not as much less so I think not it's more much. formulaic but he 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 signed up to a, to winning things into a system, yeah. and he he was functional. Do, do you know the to a very uh, good do, level? Do you know what today is, no, I agree is with you, Michael Essien's just... birthday? Right, this is another right way of demonstrating this point. Today's Michael Essien's birthday. Happy birthday, the Michael, Happy birthday. Know you're watching. Yeah, I just wanted to just, <laughs> can we bring a cake out. No, the reason I'm telling you that is because I saw uh, a compilation of goals. Right, I'm not joking. So, so let's use the Arsenal goal. Right, one of the best Premier League goals ever. You know when he hits Hang on, it. Spurs are in here. They're not. Oh, look uh, at that from really Carl Walker. Carl Walker. Carl Walker's not having This um, Charlie Gill's been crap today, hasn't he? His name Carl? Brian. Brian, Brian Gill. Brian Gill. Brian. Who's Carlos Gill? He used to play for Villa, didn't he? Yes. And Barry Gill is one of the Bee Gees. <laughs> Gib, isn't it? No, <laughs> Big <laughs> Gib. Gib. Yeah. Barry Gill. <laughs> it, was Gill. The, it was the Gib <laughs> brothers. Gill. Man United. United. <laughs> Barry Gill. It was the Gib brothers. All three of them were Gibbs. <laughs> Gill. That reminds me of, you know that, um, you know when uh, Dowboy goes to America? Yeah, and oh, they're, they're going past the, the Bee Gees house. And yeah, like, yeah, How yeah. How deep is my yeah. love? And it's actually him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that one called? Miami Twice. <laughs> Miami, Miami, yeah, Miami, yeah, Miami Twice. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a brilliant episode, man. <laughs> yeah, when he puts him on a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a foul. It's not a foul. But, but, yeah, but anyway, right, back twice. to Michael Essien's birthday. The reason I'm telling you this is because I saw a compilation of like the goals that he scored for Chelsea, like the Bison and all these. The one goals. against Arsenal. Think, think about that goal against Arsenal. One of the most iconic Premier League goals ever, right? I swear to you, a Chelsea midfielder in the past three years hasn't had a shot from that far out. Like, not one shot. There hasn't no. been a shot. No. Not one that's been missed. No. Not one that's gone over the bar. Not one that's been saved by the goalie. Or not one that's hit the back of the net. No, no Chelsea player. That, that shot is coming in from, what do you reckon? 35? 30 yards, yeah. Between 30 and 40. What, the outside of the booth? Yeah. And it's going 30, wide. 30 yards. No, no, it's, it's far. Is it? Yeah, 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 it's far. It's like 35, I reckon, right? Yeah. I swear to you, no Chelsea players hit one from there. Lampard picks it up, lays it off. Yeah. SCN comes running in outside of yeah. the boot. It's not the game. It's not optimal. But goals from outside the box are so special. They're so br like Frank Lampard from outside the box, brilliant. Yeah. Um, Stephen Gerrard from outside the box, brilliant, yeah, yeah. beautiful. I don't. I think that we don't have that anymore. Yeah, and it's a, it's a shame. I don't think it should be that way. But it's what not percentage optimal. of goals, like without going all statty, what percentage of goals? Do you think? Do you think there's a decline in the overall amount of goals that have been scored? Distance yeah. from goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, but like look at where Phil Foden scored from today. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. happens. It's all tapping, isn't it? Yeah. But then Guardiola is changing right now. I think Doku represents that. He's look at look at the license Might Doku's be got. Idea, but Doku's in. Go on, go on. Oh, big heavy touch. Though. Yeah, bad touch. Yeah. 
I saw one of those articles that, you know, one of those stat articles, and it's like, you know, Guardiola's uh, embracing chaos over control. He you know, isn't, I, I, though, is he? Those, those, but that's yeah, not but true. He is, he is. That's a great headline. He is. That's, that's this is control, though. Mate, that's uh, I, I don't think it is. I think we're playing less in midfield than we ever used. We used to play 4-3-3, rigid 4-3-3. It was the class, almost like comes back from the kind of Dutch you 90s chaos, every week? Yeah. yeah but, but <laughs> chaos in the sense that he's given license <laughs> no, to Doku to do what don't he wants to do. And then I, don't, I don't think Doku's that's lost the ball 10 times today. No, no, no. He's allowed to lose the ball in certain positions, though. And there'll be certain players that are allowed to take those risks yeah. within his formation. Yeah, Doku takes Doku's even a winger. more risks than we risk. used to last. Honestly, it's more. I don't think there's any risk takers anymore, really. Like, I understand what you're saying. Doku takes more risks than anyone else. But risk takers would be like, Ryan Giggs would have been a risk taker. Yeah, yeah, 90% yeah, yeah. of Ryan oh, Giggs' yeah. runs in the would probably context, end in yeah, giving yeah. the ball away. In that context, but 10% end up in a goal. Yeah, you're spot so it's on. worth it. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm not saying that. It, but what I'm trying to say is that I think Guardiola has taken away Let's the aspect of control. That's not what you guys think about this debate in the comments. I will read some out. It's nearly half time in this game. I just think, I just think that football's like the Mavericks. Like our game, 4 4, end to end. Trying to trying to make something happen. It's, it didn't it's, feel it's, quite it's, it's Trent scores a lot of goals. People are saying from he's one of a few, isn't he? Yeah, and, well, Liv- Liverpool are actually a little bit. I would say that Liverpool, I'd say Jurgen Klopp isn't necessarily part of this movement. I think that Guardiola and those that emulate Guardiola. Yeah, Liverpool this, had four today from outside. Yeah, but okay, Liverpool aren't in my reckoning for this really. To their credit, they're not in my re- in my reckoning. Chelsea, despite being not good. Potter would be a disciple of Guardiola, really. He'd conform to the Guardiola thing. Mm. Um, I would say that... Some people want to go back to Sopranos chat. Should we can we can do that. We can always do that. Um, re- some people say Real Madrid are very of that nature as well. What, a bit more maverick? Yeah, yeah. Ancelotti, though. Let Benzema do what he wants, whatever. Vinicius. Yeah. But again, that Bellingham would be... Bellingham now. Look at Bellingham's an, role now. But that's Ancelotti, isn't he? He's an old school. Yeah. He's not... But Carlo Ancelotti's obviously not trying to emulate... But is that the future? Well, I think that's that the most interesting thing. Well. You see where players like... They're all conscious of, oh, I don't want up to Joel tweeting my stats today. Yeah. I've got 70% <laughs> yeah, possession. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of having a shot from 30 yards, they'll pass it. Well, this is Because a, it's like, all right. Mate, my, there's, my nothing posi- more, there's nothing more infuriating, right? right? There's nothing more infuriating than say, you know when Jorginho was at Chelsea? Jorginho didn't give the ball away today. Made 100% of his yeah, passes. Uh, yeah. Four or five yard passes. Yeah. 100 of them. Yeah. I don't care. Try a few through balls. They might not all work. I, wa- I watched like a really old black and white football game a few weeks ago and it was like, you know, football used to be like, you set up like a back four and then everyone else just bombs on and shoots from different angles and then yeah, as long as like you don't get Primary beat, school, just everyone chasing yeah. the ball. But now it's like <laughs> everyone's got to be involved in this mm. expansive network of passing and mm. it, that's just where it's going in the future. Yeah, it's become very scientific football, which is, I think, kind of goes, I, I like that Angelotti's not that, I like that Jurgen Klopp's not that, but I think football is meant to be more spontaneous. It's meant to be more yeah, unpredictable. Clough was doing that back in the seventies and all that. He was just a, they were early. Do you know what I mean? There's maybe, always maybe. been. I don't know about. I don't know if that was Clough's you know. philosophy. I don't know. But if if it was, fine. But it, he would have been the anomaly rather than Clock now. Being I, the I just meant Clough, like someone like Clough or someone like you know Bob Paisley or all these. Every year there's a new manager that takes football on to the next level. Yeah. Unfortunately, football's now no, become but, but less if individualistic. About, if you think about the Premier League's greatest ever manager, up until now at least, Ferguson. There was nothing sort of scientific about Ferguson's approach. Not really. But do, but I think we do kind of but was disregard that, yeah. that. You know, like people nowadays, I get frustrated when people talk about Roy Keane or whoever. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's just a clogger. But then you watch no. these players back then and their passing range, everything yeah. was very good. But I think because nowadays, you know, nowadays after every match, you'll see one of them clips on Twitter, two minutes of just one player playing mm. in that match. You could never do that back in the day no. for every game because no, unless you went to the matches, exist. you the didn't see 90 didn't minutes. Yeah. No, 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 no. So you only saw what was on match of yeah. the day. So, you know, it all it, it came less about... Yeah. You didn't know more about uh, how but, much stats and what shape were these guys in because we like, didn't have that overload of stats. You know, when you, you think about those... You did see some passages right? of play. So think about mm. Stephen Gerrard's goal versus Marseille, right? Time, Steve one, Gerrard uh, versus two, Marseille. Frank, Lam- Frank Lampard versus Everton in the cup final. Um, just Paul Scholes at Valley Parade. Like, there are so many of those examples... I don't think that I don't think players really have the shot now. I don't even think they take the punt. No, they don't. Occasionally, Bruno Fernandes because he are takes we being, full responsibility. Again, I'm with you, but are we being nostalgia? Merchants? Tell me if I am. I don't know. And I'm I, asking. No, are I, we? Like, uh, maybe. Who are we? I don't think you're not being nostalgia merchants for making the observation. Like, like, you might we just be, think Garnacho scored arguably you, the one of the greatest. Yeah, but we don't goals. see. A, we don't you see enough I mean? of them. We, we're hearing about Trent's goals yeah. today and McAllister's goals. No, Liverpool. You can't. You can't factor Liverpool in. Because Liverpool 
on this. You're not. You're not nostalgic. I, I, I'm on the same side as you two as well. I, I want there to be more long shots. I want there to be individual uh, quality. Okay, what about another one? But I just don't think there is. I don't think there is. Headed goals. Yeah, that's down. That's down. That's down. Everything's Headed down. Goals. That's except... for good reason, though. People aren't lumping it. Apart no, from Man United. No, but you can score. You <laughs> but can we score, don't get yeah. in the You box. can score brilliant goals. You can score brilliant, brilliantly well crafted goals with your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like Les Ferdinand offered David Ginola cross in front of the Gallagate. That's yeah. sexy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's a great goal. Yeah. David Ginola. David Ginola jinking past the winger, it. whipping it in, and Ferdinand jumping no, no, six foot in the air. I hear what you're saying, but people are playing it on the floor. They're tr- trying to look for those. It's tackles. down. It's down. What I'm saying, though, is is football becoming too scientific? Are we, yeah. are we, we're not having long shots from outside the box, headed goals. Or every single goal so now is, football, is a perfectly crafted... From a tactical perspective, and even you look at refereeing perspective, it's just become too science, not yeah. scientific, but too specific, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, we need to get this deadly right. Mm. I think it's a shame. I think it's a shame. But I reckon there'll be someone that comes along, takes more long shots, gets really good at it, and eventually they'll beat all these keepers that are now rubbish that aren't used to saving long shots, you know and it'll just go back to you, that. You know it's players who, who, who were the mavericks of their day? Does Paul Gascoigne? Does Paul Gascoigne make far. it? Does Paul Gascoigne make it as a professional footballer yeah. today? Does Matt Letizia? Yeah. Does Matt yeah. Letizia? Yes. yes. You know why? Do you think? You know why it is? Yeah. Because they have better, they have better training facilities. They have better diet. They have better science around them. Mm. They have better travel. Better this. Better that. Because everyone in the dressing room isn't drinking anymore. They're less inclined. No, no, to but not indulge even. In that. I don't mean that. So I mean, therefore, they'd be better. I mean, okay, look. The reason, the, of, let's use Matt Letizia here, right? Matt Letizia would not press. From the front, like he, he's not ever going to do. Oh that. yeah, of course. He's never ever going to do that. Mm. So presumably, the system is more important than Matt Letizia mm-hmm. for Guardiola. Guardiola is never going to want him. But some managers would still, right? It's like Berbatov a little bit. Okay, does Berbatov make it to professional football yeah. today? Where? What club would would allow for? There'd be a, there'd be do you know a... the point I'm making? I, I, I know the point you're making. Like, like my favourite, my favourite, back at Spurs. My favourite footballers are the ones that I'm talking about here, and I just hate the potential of those kind of players now being overlooked because mm. they will not like. Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher are great examples of this, right? They're nowhere near as good a footballer as... You know, like a Berbatov would... Nowadays, I'm not comparing him because he was twice, three times a player. But you know, like how Firmino played at Liverpool? Yeah. In a system, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, could, he could bring yeah. others into play. Like, yeah, yeah. So there's still that where his immaculate first touch is... Vision is everything yeah. could be used and used in a system like that. So Bellingham's see, doing a Real Madrid. Bellingham's a no, great example. Okay, the, he's the, the two, he's the almost two, what we say, the, though. He's mate, kind of like a maverick. Though, the the, well. two, the yeah. two examples that I don't think we can bring into... To, if you're trying to counter the point that I'm making... But the point I'm making, by the way, I hope I'm wrong, and I don't even know how much I believe in it. But the two examples that don't disprove the theory I'm pushing is anything to do with Real Madrid or anything to do with Liverpool. But then, so telling me that, that Real Madrid token, are playing this system... So I know by that token, Liverpool. I know. So by that mm. thing, so if we're talking about City and Barcelona, yeah. two of the biggest yeah, yeah. clubs at the moment in, in the yeah. world, they play a certain way. Yeah, that's very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we say two of the other biggest clubs play, and so yeah. is that just not styles? And no, do because we still I would not say have in, in the Premier we... in the Premier League, aside from Liverpool, aside from Liverpool, M- Luton don't do it. I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, no, Luton don't. Like, Luton are old fashioned. Like two men up front and that. I'm uh, like Brighton are Man City. Yeah, the, tr- the cheap tr- version. Chelsea yeah. are Man City. A little bit like that. Chelsea are Man City. Yeah, a, ter- a B Tech version, but the point of Chelsea is to yeah. be Man City. Yeah. Arsenal. Are. Arsenal are Man City. But to a certain level, again, their styles are obviously different. But I'd imagine some of their coaching methods would be similar. The way they drill their teams. Is Jurgen Klopp not right? that as well in terms of his teams are really well drilled and they have to they he have allows to do he allows for things, mavericks right? he allows for mavericks he within al- that yeah but al- they're still very highly drilled so, so Bosley like having a shot from 35 yards i think is encouraged by Klopp i think it's discouraged by Deserby mm. okay yeah do you know what i mean yeah, I you, is. trent alexander arnold you guys trent alexander coming. arnold trying a through ball that probably doesn't work is Can encouraged. we get a poll? Is, Are we nostalgia merchants? Is there? <laughs> but we're not. We're not because, no, no, because, because be I think it's, hear what I think other it's fact think. as well. I think the goals from outside the box are diminishing. Silky Milk, Milky says, good point, Rory. That's and rare. Ozzy Abroad it's says, Rory waffles. So we're, no, we're splitting the room. I, I agree with Ozzy, man. I've got, I've got, in the room. It's the third time you'd agree with I agree with Ozzy. 
Peter Osgood. Who? <laughs> yeah. It's a great um, goal from Spurs, isn't it? Okay. It's a terrible... You, mate, you need to say the word Doku when you talk about this Tottenham goal. What, but, You're too look, quick to avoid the word Doku. He's got, he's got B. Also, you can talk about Edison if you want. No, but Ra- mate, Rashford yesterday no, if wasn't that even was running. Rashford, you could talk no, 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 forget yesterday. If that was Rashford and there, if that was on Anana, that just now. And if that was Anana. I would have said Rashford you. got done, but at least he and worked hard. Anana, 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 Anana should have saved that. Anana needs to That's Rashford. basically Anana versus Galatasaray. People build up credit in the bank, yes. okay? Oh. Yeah, you do. Oh. But you also have to... Edison's just want to travel. When I said Anana's done well in the Prem, but Chavez... You, here's the issue with that, by the way. You said very good. No, yeah. It's, hyper, it's well, hyperbole. Yeah. Hyperbole. He's not been. I didn't, did I say he was zero out of ten in the Premier League? No, he's been four out of ten in the Premier League. So and that's zero. In the no, it's not. That's it's bump. middle of the road. It's average. It's four not five. average. Four out of ten is not. If I if you get result, <laughs> scored four out of ten, and they go, you've averaged there, mate. You go. Oh, right, I'll give him a five. Average. He's been five out of ten then. You're average. <laughs> I'll take a five. Shave your team, man. Two one today. It's a um, big win for us. If, did you uh, not get invited to the game today? Would you, would you make? I actually did get invited to the game. Oh, you did? A different, different, uh, different brand. What can I say? Oh, uh, <laughs> who, who, uh, who was the brand last I'm time? I'm not going to say. Who's the brand last time? Oh, uh, TNT Sports. Oh, who, who, who did you go with? <laughs> where, where, what have you been up to this weekend, Ad? What did uh, you do last night, mate? Who were you with? Yesterday, I watched, uh, was on Stretford Paddock crying yeah. about Manchester United. Yeah. How was, uh, uh, how was everyone? Were you on with Steven? Uh, Steve wasn't on, no. no? Um, he doesn't. He, he doesn't do the watch longs that much. Oh, fine. What, um, Jay? Jay, me, Jay, and Joe were. Oh, on. quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, got a live show coming up. By the way, if you're in Dublin, sorry, I'm plugging my shit here. Is that all right? Yeah. Do I get Dece- a cut of this then? This is not. Of course not. <laughs> December the 28th. I'm in Dublin. Uh, with Stretford Paddocks. Uh, Jay, Joe, and uh, Stee. And we'll also be joined by Big Bad Wes Brown on stage. Yeah. yeah. We did one last year with Brian McClay. It was on real. We'll be doing another one this year, so I'll come down 28th December. You got a ticket Christmas for Finton? And that. Um, Finton's welcome to come along yeah, if yeah. he wants to. I, I invited him to the uh, Brian McClare one. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. If you're a Villa fan, and you wouldn't want to go, would you? Great, great city. Amazing city. One of the great best. City. One of the best. Just so expensive. It is expensive. Got to remortgage your they house see and you, go You there. know, it's, they're clever as well. They see you coming. Like, I, like, I'm not one of these guys that just drinks Guinness in Dublin. I don't have a problem with people that do that not getting on my high horse here. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I always drink Guinness, right? So Guinness will be a drink of choice for me. Yeah. Over there, they see you coming. Everything else is like five euro. Guinness, 11. Is it about 11? Because yeah. they know all the tourists are going to go yeah, in there yeah. and buy a Guinness constantly. Yeah. Um, and I still buy them, mm. which more for me. You got it though, then. Expensive, You got it. it. Expensive pint. Can you split the G on a Guinness? Do you know how to do I that? I don't know what you're going to ask me then. Yeah, I can. It's about three gulps. Free goal. No, you've got to do it in one, haven't you? No, I. you do that, but I know, like, I calculate how many. Yeah, oh, I see, yeah, gulps. yeah. Oh, free goals, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Not not in one, but. Yeah. yeah. I can split the C in a cider, mate. I just net the whole thing. You I buy I cider that just says cider on it. <laughs> it's like, it's you know when you brand, see, when you see brand. cartoons, Tesco. and they've got a box that just says cereal. Yeah, it's just Tesco own brand, mate, so it's just, yeah, just cider. cider on it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, you know, white label, isn't making it? a bit of money now. You can you can afford. No, I, I've actually started something. buying bombers every now and then. I've um, a little dicky bird told me you were after a fob for this place so much you've ended up in a contract. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's going on there? Got a little space. Got a little got, office. Yeah. Bo- it's called Boobie moving HQ. On up in the world. Yeah, you got a HQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little. So what's look, the plan for your HQ? Here's the thing, and you know better than me. You've got you've got businesses. You, you film in studios. I think sometimes when you do the little YouTube channel, you want to be in a studio. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and I'm doing it in my bedroom in London. It's a little bit naff. Been doing it for a few years, so I thought I'd get a little office space. Yeah, invest in yourself. Yeah, it's good. yeah. No, I hear it exactly. So uh, I hear it because I obviously I work here mostly. Then I got a studio in Manchester. Exactly. And when I do have to work. From home, like in a spare room, it's like it don't hit nap, and it? it's a bit yeah, nap. It's, it, it so it's nice to get out and just go somewhere different. But I'm moving so. house soon, and I'm gonna try and build same a, area, build a little one, not far. Yeah, decent, better. decent. Yeah, yeah. And it, I will never leave the ends. Yeah. Um, super chat, gotta read it. Doku don't. Oh my fuck's sake! Doesn't even make the starting Let's eleven. Let's just go home. Boo. We gotta go. We gotta leave. About, Let's get a train to the Midlands. Let's get out of here. Uh, Doku doesn't even start for Arsenal. Um, I actually think there's a, a debate with Martinelli, but uh, in, in Doku's current form, he's probably in better form than Martinelli. Doku's been incredible start, today. It's very look, Martinelli's a probably better. Me total walking footballer. up is a bit daft when I thought about it, silly. But what, what was it? Why did you walk off? Because someone said Doku don't start for Arsenal. Doku doesn't start. He doesn't start on the right. He starts on the left. Hang on a minute. 
I don't know if he does actually. He starts uh, on the left. He starts on the left. I, I don't know. You know, I think there's something. Does Doku start for Arsenal? He he, he, Doku's not a better player than Martinelli. Not yet. Is he? Could he have a better output? I think Doku's decision making is quite poor. I think you get away with it at City because you're allowed to get away with it at City. They're on more chances. They win more games. You're going to... I, I, you know, I think they could be right. But I do think it's not... Does Doku start for Arsenal? Doku does start for Arsenal a lot of games. That is what I'm saying. No, he, look, so if, if, if he was an Arsenal player, way, Mikel, Arteta, Arteta. Mikel Arteta would make a lot of use of him. Mm. But I don't think... If they got to a Champions League final and Doku was an Arsenal player, I don't think he starts it, no. Their, their, t- their front three, their best front three is uh, Gabriel Jesus through the middle, Martinelli on one side and Saka on the other. That's their best front three. Something there with the Martin anything, no. You could potentially, I think on any given day, you could potentially start the whole club. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, but it's not much. It's not a guarantee either. Yeah. It's not a guarantee. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, not a guarantee, I don't think. Said again. They're a very... Um, We've got a super chat. Got to read it out. It's the Champions League final. Your club is playing their biggest rivals. If your rivals win, you get a million. Who are you cheering for? I wouldn't ever want the fixtures to take place. Do you know the weirdest <laughs> the weirdest mentality? Do you know when people go... So say Chelsea are in one semi-final and Tottenham are in the other. So ch- let's pretend Chelsea are playing Man United in the semi-final of the Champions League and the other semi-final is Marseille versus Tottenham. People go... I'd love it if Tottenham get there because it'll be a great final and we get to beat them in a final. I'm like, forget that. Forget that. Mm. If, 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 if Tottenham are in the semi-final and Chelsea are in the other semi-final, say they're playing Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup, you've got to want Blackburn to win. You can't risk playing them. Because if they beat like, you, it's a disaster. If you beat them, it's the best ever. But that feeling can't take going a risk. into it. You can't it's take like, a risk. So in this situation, I'd say Man United, Liverpool, Champions League final... I'd be sick. I couldn't enjoy that game. I couldn't enjoy the build-up. Couldn't no. enjoy anything. You you wouldn't enjoy anything about that no. until and if at the you end, win in the at final. The end, you're not ball. even happy you're at the end. You're relieved. You just got relief. Yeah, you start crying because you're so relieved. That it's a whole it's thing for is a million. over. Well, I get a million if your team lose. Who are you cheering? See, I still don't this want is the, the thing to take place. I wouldn't cheer, right? So I would. If, I would if United quietly lose, accept. I'd be like, all right, it's not too bad for me. Get a million. <laughs> But I wouldn't cheer. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah? Hang on a But minute. if United win, I'd cheer. So if Chelsea win, I'd cheer. Chelsea beat Tottenham in the Champions League final, I'd cheer. Chelsea lose to Tottenham in the Champions League final, nothing I can do about it. Really bad news, upsetting. I was at, you know, they beat us in 08 at Wembley. Jonathan Woodgate scored. I was at that game. Nothing I could do about it. It would have made it slightly more palatable if I'd got a million pounds in the old skyrocket. Yeah. But I just don't want the fixture to ever happen. Mm. That's my, that's I my hear. take. I heard we got another super chat, which we've got to read out. Calm down with your snivelling. <laughs> snivelling for? <laughs> you know, look at the state of that, man. Oh, all right. Here's, you know, here's one from left field. Right. All right, guys, says Eddie. What's everyone's favourite artiste and favourite song ever? That's a bit like, you don't have one, do you? I, I can answer this with one. I've got like one. I've got many a song I love, many an artist I listen to, but I do have like one song. And one artist overall. Prince is the art. It's also the artist I listen to the most. Prince would be my favourite ever. And the song would be When Doves Cry. Great song. What would be yours? I Anyone? think Streets, <laughs> We Become Heroes might be my favourite song. But it changes a lot. But Streets, We Become Heroes. Great song, isn't it? Yeah. The whole album's amazing. Um, yeah. My favourite artist... My most listened to artists like Spotify is told me it was 50 Cent. I listened to a lot of 50 Yeah, yeah. But I'll go with the streets, man. My, streets are amazing. Know, I think they speak to me. Is that because of the, the, the from Birmingham? Thing, it? It's Birmingham, but also yeah. a lot of the British yeah. references and things like that. Like, I like that with Massive Attack. I think they say something about Bristol, like the Bristol experience. You know, mm. that's very unique for everyone, of course. But uh, Can you explain the Bristol experience in five words? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. It's very hard to explain. Bristol's a very well, weird you, part of the world. Give me a minute, five words to explain Bristol. Because uh, I don't understand Bristol. Because you know, you know, you did say something to me once, yeah. and I didn't, I didn't challenge you, but I was just like, I don't even know what that means. You were like talking about potentially having an argument. Somebody had an argument, and you kind of went, and I had to go very Bristol on him, and I was like. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like that, that might mean really soft. Yeah, like, yeah, what does that, that mean? mean? That's interesting, yeah. 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 You know, we had to go very brisk. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, that, going brisk, like you can, yeah. I don't know. I, like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Bristol gets, everyone thinks Bristol is skins. 
kind of middle class people meandering around, skin. going to raves. Skin show. Yeah. Skin Dan, show. Dan Kaluuya. Oh, is that Nick in Holt. Bristol? That was all set. Yeah, that's it's, it's, it's yeah. set. First yeah. season was It's set. an amazing show. With yeah. Effie and... Bristol the, Uni and that. It's got a very... It's got, it has got that middle class tinge, Bristol. It does. Very but, Lib Dem. It feels very Lib Dem. that isn't... Bri- it's like me say, telling you that Knightsbridge no. is London. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? 90% of it is... Yeah. There's a nice area of Bristol Hackney, called, is, called Clifton. Croydon. Yeah, Clifton. It's a great part of the... Uh, and it's always in, on the photos and stuff. Yeah. It isn't Bristol. It doesn't represent... There's also the an area called St. Paul's. Yeah, St. Paul's. Well. Yeah. And a uh, guy from St. Paul's scored today at Anfield, uh, Bobby Reid. No? Um, isn't there a St. Paul's like everywhere? It must be. St. Paul's Square. It just feels like there's one everywhere. There's, I mean, there's definitely St. Paul's in London. There's a lovely Ivy Asia. Where there's one in Birmingham as well? St. Paul's in uh, in Rome, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the game is kicked in the back. Two one to Manchester City. If it remains this way. <laughs> Go on. Oh, oh what a save. Superb save by Vicario. So if we it, have a winner if it stays this way. But also, if City score one. Or Spurs, there can only be one more goal in this game. If you, if you, way. if you now Mac. could pick, so, so to win, to win the two hundred fifty grand, you can either be our, our viewer who has two one, our viewer that has three one to City, I'd go three, or our one. viewer that has two all. I'd, who do you think out of those three is the most likely? to I win? think the less, the, the smaller odds are on three one. Yeah, one more goal. I think I would rather be the City 2, Tottenham 1. Just no more goals. You're just watching this going, time to It's like in poker, isn't it? You're winning you rather have a pair hold, of twos hold, hold, or get, have hold. Ace-King? So, yeah. well, Ace-King can make a straight hold. and flush. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> what would you rather be? I think you want to just hold. Pair of twos, mate. You know, it's all dependent on your on your on what you remember in the last year, for example. Yeah. I've never you know won I mean? a flip in my life. Oh, here I've we never go. won a flip. <laughs> I'm what not even joking. About? When I play poker, you land on your feet so mate, much. Flip. I have if never. You need, if you need is a set, it true? I've never won a flip. That's bullshit. <laughs> never here, won a flip. Never. Here are some live odds um, for the results that I just mentioned. Two two is ten to one. Okay, so not three likely. one is seven to two, and two one remains the same six to one. So I was right. The favorite at the moment is three to one. Three the one. Three one. The three and a half to one. So one if you goal. are our super six viewer. Who has 3 1, the odds are that you're going to succeed. They've got Ace King and I wonder what we could They've got hit. Ace King. They're desperate. They're looking desperate. desperate. Right. If the guy with 3 1 goes to you, you can buy my Super 6 off me right now. How much would you give him? Oh, that's a, that's great, a great, great question. That's deal or no deal. That's, that's deal or no question. deal. Uh, so your man goes, look, the final score I've got is 3 1. 1,000 pounds? Them, oh, no. That's, like, that's no. 250 to you know, 1. You're not getting him off that. 250 to Remember, you've got to get him off. You'd have to give off him his, off his super. You got to make him offer. He can't refuse forty one. grand. You'd risk forty. Any more is ridiculous. That. I don't have that. Okay. No, I'm not saying you could. I'm just saying if you had Rory the money, definitely has that. Here we go. That. City on the attack already. Look at the attack. You don't think we're not going to score again? No, you're not. It's, mate, you want to be. Trust me. You want to be. You're absolutely no, right no, in the no, analogy. No. Yeah. You want to be the two one. No, look. You're just looking at the clock. Okay, so that, but you you're saying 45, 45 minutes, minutes of, of six City players attacking this Spurs back line that conceded you, you four need, to Chelsea and all kick, sorts. Look, free kick given. That's right. Try, stay down now. You're going, Erling. Stay there, <laughs> mate. I'm gonna this 47 is, you know that minutes dagger, in. Though, when the goal goes, when in. the king, when the king comes on the turn. <laughs> oh, painful. That was remember me on the river. Oh, that was a horrible one. Oh, mate, it's just awful. It's, just like, it's actually upsetting. I I'd won that as well. It's actually upsetting. Do you know I was playing last night? And guess what I went out with? Online, sorry. Online. Yeah. So I've I've got a pair of twos. Yeah. A pair of four. No, what's it? I have a pair of twos, I think. It's a free kick to City. You're not missing anything. Three fours. <laughs> just standing three, over the it. turn comes, three fours are out. So I've got a full house, right? The guy goes all in. I call. I've got the full house. Yeah. He's got eight kings. So he's got nothing. I've got full house. <laughs> the fourth... Four comes, yeah. So, so there's quads on the board, an ace kicker. and he's got an ace yeah, kicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what yeah, a yeah. chance! It's horrible, it's horrible yeah. that, isn't it? It's horrible. horrible that happens a lot online, doesn't it? So like when <laughs> someone has like jacks and you have like two pair on the board and then the put board pairs, yeah, but it's not your, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it doesn't give you a full house. Yeah, 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 your hand. Yeah, just yeah, you exactly. see more hands online, isn't it? That's all it is. Yeah, you just see more hands. Have you ever had quads in real poker? Oh, loads of times, yeah. Loads. I had it in Barcelona when we went to Barcelona a few years ago. Did you see when that, that hand in Brighton that I played? No, I, I had I sevens, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I had sevens. Uh, guy. Oh, is this the guy Flock? who had jack two? Yeah. No, the guy had jacks. Oh, no. Yeah, Flop someone came, guy went all in Flop jack two against you. Yeah. Flop came no, jack. People don't do that to me. That was a bluff, by the way. The flop came jacks, jack, jack, seven. Yeah. So I flopped a full house. He flopped quads. Ah. Oh. And uh, we get to the river anyway. It all goes in and I lose. And then I had his mates going, oh, mate, well played, mate, well played. I was like, 
Well played, bro. He's flopped the absolute <laughs> bollocks. Yeah. All he had to do was sit there and wait. And while you're betting into in. him as well. Yeah, yeah, like, like, look at this idiot. Yeah. Well played. Yeah, really well played, mate. Yeah. You done me there. We quads, dickhead. Oh, handball. Handball, right? I'm glad that was giving us handball. Do you see why I think you want the 2 1 scoreline? No. Nah, you just you... the dagger of uh, a goal going in. No, I know, but. What if then, okay. If you I were think... those three people, would you make a deal to just split now? I'll tell you the one. If one I, of it comes through. The one, the, 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 the one score line here that I don't think, I'm sorry to say this to you, and remember, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, the, the one out. score line I don't think is going to succeed is Man City 2, Tottenham 2. I blatantly just. I think that's more likely than. Quarter. I think that's more Not likely than staying the same. No. You know why? Because I don't think Tottenham City score could again. be not knocking on heaven's door, yeah. Spurs break. Yeah, score. we can do that. But I think. I don't know. I feel so tense for the three. We're talking 39 minutes to go. 39 no minutes. Look at that. Great ball out. Let's see some. Great ball out. It's a lovely a little ball. First pass. time ball get out. Grit. First time. It's a free it's kick. Not, I'm saying it's a lovely little ball. It's a nice little pass. pass. It's not a first time pass. It was a Come dead on. ball. Come on. That's not what a first time pass is. We've got a super chat. Got to read it Can't out. take a second touch, can you? Apart from Pep or Klopp, who's the one manager, past or present, you would have loved at your club. I'm well, assuming that hasn't been If I'm doing past or present, there. it wouldn't be either of those two. Dave says mine's Ancelotti at United. Weirdly, me and um, Joel from Paddock was speaking about this the other day, and I said, uh, uh, obviously, he spent time at Chelsea, which probably didn't help, but him not ever having a period at United is weird. Yeah, considering he's been how everywhere. much we've changed our managers considering, in the last 10 considering years. everywhere that he's been. Everton. Yeah. He's won the league in five leagues, hasn't he? Mm. The five top leagues in Europe. He's so won. Ancelotti or, and four Champions League. Pep. Actually, Ancelotti or Klopp, for what it would mean, because then Klopp wouldn't have went to Liverpool. That's true. Yeah, that's you know true. I mean? Once he's at United, he's not going yeah. to Liverpool. Okay, so that's who for me. Go on. Bro. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think Move. that you know, if there's anybody that was just like that felt a shoe in that never that never actually ended up coming to Chelsea. I'm trying to think Before Pep, who there did you want? I always thought Diego Simeone want, would end up at Chelsea. I always wanted Pep. I always thought Simeone would end up at Chelsea. Yeah. It feels like he's very to Chelsea. Yeah. It might. He's still young. Is 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 yeah. English isn't too strong, isn't it? This is why yeah. why he hasn't taken an English and he's, job, a job in England. And he's the really. highest paid manager in the world, I think. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, no, it's someone else now in Saudi Arabia, but I think it yeah, was probably Gerard. Gerard. <laughs> New, yeah, New probably Gerard. Probably Gerard. He's struggling, isn't he? He's like bottom of the league or something. Of course he's yeah, bottom of the league. He's he's really got really got smashed last week or something like that. Did they really? <laughs> something like Did that. Did they really? Yeah. Something like, I saw a tweet. Isn't it amazing how, like the lack of interest in that league. That's a foul! Me. I, don't, I don't care, yeah. It's I'm a transfer league. You, you watch it for transfer. That's a foul on Phil Folden there. But you know yeah. when the league, you know when it all started to happen? Everybody was suggesting that, you know, we're all going to watch it. We're all going to have a team. It's going to be brilliant. Everybody's going to be totally invested. Out that of, hasn't happened, has it? No. No, no, no. no. Like that really hasn't Out happened. Out of? Uh, where, where are uh, uh, Stephen Gerrard's team in the league, Beef? Bottom, he said. Uh, no, I didn't say bottom. You I did, say, I did not say bottom. Mate, you literally just, you literally just I meant, told me I meant the bottom end of it, towards uh, floating around the bottom of it. Uh, okay, if so the bottom's there, he's somewhere okay, so there. So you're wrong twice because it's seventh out of 18. Yeah, so it's not, definitely not near the bottom. The bottom half is bottom, like nine, yeah. like 10 and to 18, right? Yeah. Top nine. Or top why, why are you Why are you getting being a tattletale and asking Jack for help about everything? I never asked him for help. I never asked him for help. He chimed in with help. They got smashed on the weekend, didn't they? That's what I was referring like our, to. Our viewers at home want us to be correct. Yeah, you yeah. can't you know? just make it up. I'm pretty sure I saw them bottom of the table at one point. What was the score at the weekend? Did they, they win on smashed. the weekend? They lost one in on the weekend. All right, right, they right. got smashed. You, you're just getting nothing you're right. Mary. I got I got it right that they Wait, lost. Did you even you're can I ask you a right. question? Did you know anything about it or did you just go with it and hope I, for the best? I, I saw a tweet Wait, of him of, like, of, of like Gerard this, being really upset. And Golo Kante, Kante, Kante is having a blinder over there. He's playing so well. I think he scored a hat trick on the weekend. No, he did. He did. He did. And Golo Kante. He did that <laughs> thing. You see earlier when he said that thing and he tried to just slip it in yeah. and get away with it. What thing? Second time, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, no, you, you are bad on it. What's the first thing? No, no, you are you bad. You got corrected on it. You're just lying. It's not lying. You could be when you tried to say you could be 20 goals three times. Yeah. You're just making stuff up. Do you do this? Here's my doing? issue. Here's my issue. Because of social media use, my brain's fried. I can't hold on to it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've seen a video of Gerard crying. Like, now you know how our week. audience feel when they watch this show. <laughs> I mean, they don't. You Make sure you fool. subscribe. <laughs> Who's a fool? <laughs> Me. No, uh, I think it's whoever's just given I mean, you're a colour coordinator today. Actually, all of us are, isn't it? The blacks and the it's oranges. It's all autumnal, isn't it now? It's autumnal. Autumnal, Winter's yeah. here, isn't it? Like, it's fleece season, isn't it? Winter's here. You ever wear a fleece, Raw? You don't look like a I'm fleece I'm not really kind of a guy. fleece kind of guy, no. 
I can't say I'm massively. It's too hot in it. I don't know how you wear that. I, my, kid, my kid, my kid wears. Wet, it, there's no air in it. They don't put the electric on. They don't put the there's gas no on. There's no oxygen. Yeah, my carbon kid, monoxide my poisoning. Fiber in the meter, man. <laughs> uh, what am I looking? I'm looking for our shab. Did you, <laughs> you our shabby wires that you meet back in the day. Pardon? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny. <isn't it>? Nope. <laughs> You know, second time you've done that now in a week. Putting your phone on full blast. On, I'm You're on an Instagram Am I a nostalgia story? merchant? Why no. did you vote no? Because I'm not. So obviously yes. I'm not a nostalgia. We are, bro. You are. You're bad. You, you are a nostalgia are. merchant. <laughs> no, you are bad for it. I'm not. No, we both are. You, you really are. I had that earlier when you went, yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> what is? <laughs> Do you remember I said, I said something? I was like, I can't remember what I was. Oh, yeah. When somebody scored no, a goal at both ends and I went, Craig Burley did that at Anfield oh, in yeah, 1996. Yeah, yeah. And I went, no, no, it's true. You went... Oh, no, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in. oh my days! Oh, Look, Grealish is going to show Doku how it's done. See, slow him down. Oh, slow, him down. Him. Oh, slow him down. Oh, give it. I sent him shop. Well played. Why are you there? Grab me a ribena. There's stone. still a threat. Brennan Johnson with uh, showing a lovely bit of pace there to get past the City defence. I want to see us slow the game down, lads. Let's get three points, mate. This guy, see, it's two what? one. Chad two, one. Rivers. He's got look, ten Phil, look at Phil. Look at Phil. Chad Rivers. Phil. Who- Phil, that's a foul. That's a foul. No, that's not a foul at all. Fucking hell. Just faster, he's just faster and stronger than him. It did look like one, but you never get it's messy. That. You're not it getting felt it, like he you're pulled not. on his shoulder, you know, like yeah. just to catch him up. Yeah. Um, Chad Rivers, who I assume is from Bristol, says the people of Bristol have disowned you, Boovy. <laughs> Why? You know, I don't even know if he's from Bristol. around town now. Leave. I've never heard of this. Goes What's his name? There, London. What's his name? Um, if he's from Bristol, tell me where he's from in Bristol. I'll sort, I'll sort him out. Oh, shit. Where are you from in Bristol? I'm not saying. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm not saying. What's your post called? No, first no, bit no, of your no, post no, no, What's no, the first no, bit? No, no, no. Right. I'm, I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm from B19. NW6. B19 I'll say BS4, BS4. Yeah, BS. That's right for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one for you. <laughs> that's bang on. That's exactly what it should be, you know. Oh. What's the best postcode in London? Northwest Six. No, but like in terms of the name, like what's Knightsbridge what postcode? What is this? No, I'm just using that, yeah. SW three. SW. SW one. SW three. SW one. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea's SW six. Like Chelsea's football club is SW six. The right, pa- yeah. the area of Chelsea's SW three. Yeah. What else would be an iconic postcode? E three is iconic. E seven. Bowie three. Bowie three. Wiley's song in it. Bo- uh, Bowie three. Yeah, N17, N17. N17's Meridian. No, that's grim. That. N17, yeah, Godline Pomp in the crack. Tottenham. Don't want that. E17. <laughs> but that's I've not never had a, barely, never a, had a, barely a London, that's barely a London postcard. I can't postcard. stand North London. E17. If, if you got to go. This, you? you live in North London though. I live north of the river. I live, live in no, East You London. live in North London. I live in East London. Not really. It is. It's the East End. It's not. It's it, everyone that it, walks around upper, where I live. I'm not going to say where I live. The they upper, wear West Ham. It's, it's the Upper East Side, and it's not. Not everybody who walks around there wears West Ham. Kit. Honestly, if they wear, they do. I hey, see it all the time. Mate, West Ham fans not, live in Brentwood. They not, don't live not in around there. here. Not around here. No, I'm saying where I live. Mm. Well, I'm not saying where I live. You live around here, don't you? You just, not around here. You do. Nobody knows where we are. You do. No, I'm not. You rented an office to live in, haven't you? Why? Do, why are you <laughs> such a grass? You're the biggest grass in Birmingham. You, you do know you're, you're not the biggest to, grass. You do know you're not allowed to live in. You're low key a big grass, lad. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, but honestly, it's, it's East, like East London, isn't it? You went to the farm. I'd say, say very Brick, few. Brick Lane in East London. I'd say very few West Ham yeah, yeah. fans live in Brick Lane. <laughs> yeah, but, I, yeah, but I'm, is Brick Lane in East London? <laughs> I'd say no Londoners live in Brick Lane. It's all people like you who. I don't live in Brittany. In... No, no. I'm just, I, I use it as an example. I'm using it as well. Yeah. I'd say that everybody who lives in that neck of the woods, there's no Londoners there. Oh, people lo- like locals you who have moved in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Here yeah. we go. A son. Two twos on here. <gasps> oh, See, I'm telling you, you want to be the two one. Hold, hold. Nah. Wait, you, well, well you, you've done 15 minutes. That is true. <sighs> Brought Grealish on. Slow the one down. There in it. That's who you want to be. I'm you telling you. Do, you. do you think I'm right yet? Six, like when we had the chat at halftime, you would have thought potentially something would have changed by now. I'd rather have a pair. It was the perfect result for the first time for these scores, isn't it? Apart you from the one ducks one. And I'll see what happens. Do you see a flop with every pair that you get? What's that, what, do you, what do you mean? So will you make sure, will you pay to see the flop regardless of how high it's raised? Yeah, it's always valuable pairs. to, to so see it. So you want to mean, set, set mine. So even if there's five, six bets and you got threes. I'm not saying you six bet with threes. No, no, no. Even if there are and you've got threes. 
depends how short you are. Isn't it? You might want to shovel on those on those bets. No, but what, I don't, I don't, you, look. By the way, no, no, you wait, guys wait, are the experts. I don't. No, I don't we're not about posing. Yeah, but, no, you, but relative you, to you, lads, do you do your best to see the flop with a with a pair? Any pair depends on the action. Say you're, say you're under the gun, you're under the gun, and you got fours. What's the action? You're first to act. Oh, yeah, I'm raising. If I'm first to act, and I got a pair. Yeah, you're under the gun. Yeah. If I'm first to act, and I'm, I've got a pair. And you've got fours. I'm raising. You don't just call. You never just call. No, no. But you're first, you're, when I say you're under the gun, obviously you're first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-flop, you never just mm. call. Oh, but no then idea. if mm. I get re-raised and someone calls, then it's, and it then comes back around to me, anyway. I'm sceptical then. <sighs> no, but by that point. You may want to see a flop set by that line point, and you're that. you're priced in as well. By yeah, that but, point. Because if there's a re-raise re and a call, then you've only really got to put a bit more in, maybe. If they but double also it, they're telling you something. Yeah. But so then, you're, but they're telling you he's potentially got ace, king. He's got or he's aces, queens, kings, kings whatever, and he's got eights. He's got a better pair than you. But then, then if you hit the set, then you're worth having a look because if you hit a set, one of my also, saying, if, if, one of also, my if you fold, you will definitely hit a set. This is what oh, yeah, yeah. a lot. This is what I'm saying. Can never get quads if you don't play your pairs. That's a good saying. <laughs> You don't need a pair to get quads. Though. Yeah, but you get. You we, had this, we had this debate once on live on stream. I got quads on a stream. Real and you quads. said I didn't get quads. Real quads. <laughs> no, but there are no real quads. No, there I, had, isn't. I had quad fours. I folded a four, so I would have had quad fours. Wrong. And he said to me on the stream in front of Spraggy, "Oh, it, it wouldn't have been yeah, quads." And then Spraggy and all that were like, "There, like, what's going on?" If there's like that? three aces on the board, let's say, and you've got one, that's not a real quad. It is. is. No, You're I'd playing say, the board. I'd say that's it's poker. But I'd say that the the situation that I spoke the other day when the when the quads were on the board, when the quads were on the board, when the quads were on the board, I would say that's not real quads. It is real quads. No, but I lost on them then. Like, it's not the same as what... Well. All I'm saying is it's not the same. All right. If you're playing the board with quads, one, that is the worst thing you want. But yeah. what I had was better than playing yeah, the board yeah, yeah. with quads. That's what I'm saying. Your yeah, one is I real. I believe, I believe if you've got one of the cards... Well, I'm just saying. And there's three on the board, I think that you've got you'd real quads. You'd rather have two because it looks, it looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Covers that's it up all I'm saying. It's it. better, isn't it? But I still... It's the same principle, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever had quads. I don't have Defo have. No, not live. I had them in Barcelona when I've we never had them a couple of years ago. What, did you win the hand? Did you fold? I did. I, I won <laughs> loads. I won loads. You'd love to fold. Because it's hard to make money out of quads. <laughs> no, I'd, honestly. No, but you do that. love to fold. I'm, honestly. And that day, me and Adam are filming a vlog. It never got published, unfortunately. And it was a beautiful... Uh, well, we went, is that we when you went to a shirt. sex shop? Yeah. No, no, that, no, no, that was uh, wasn't that you and someone else went. I didn't go to. I don't know. I went to the shopping. No, no, no. I was with you on paddleboarding. You've got it wrong. You two went paddleboarding. Oh, it was we a went, different day. I got dragged we along. Went, we did something. Oh, yeah. to a Hang shot. on a minute. The world will never know this. I just have to let you know something really important here. <laughs> this man <laughs> no. is the worst. Why bring that My spurs are in the box. They're clear. Oh, I ruined They're it. They're shite, man. They Did are I rubbish. Down? Off sides, off sides, off sides, off sides. This gentleman here is the worst paddle boarder I've ever seen in my entire life. Mate, it's he, difficult. He's, lying, he's, he's lying down on the You've board. You've got a big benefit, bro. What's the benefit? Being smaller. Having a good core. No, no, being, yeah, <laughs> bit, bit, that helps your core because you're smaller. When you're gangly and long like us. What, would you long, be bad at paddle? I paddleboarded in Barbados. Are you bad? And I, my cousin had to come rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> she had to swim out and rescue me. Because what happened was Hard. I was standing on it and I couldn't stand properly. Yeah, so. He's rocking. So then I just sat on it, right? I just sat on it and paddled like I'm in a canoe. <laughs> yeah. But then I He's went out too down far. down on it, swimming with and it. And I was like... under like a thing. And my cousin had to swim out. And, and I, that's saw, the worst I saw a jellyfish. Thing. She's younger than me myself. and she swims up to me and grabs me. And I'm on my board. Doing that thing. You know when you were a kid at school and you had to learn how to save that dummy? <laughs> had jeans on, didn't it? Is that one <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, of? Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. you had to wear jeans. Yeah, wear your pajamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, that's, that's kid. I saw a jellyfish. I, honestly, I lost, my, I lost my nuts. I thought I was going to die. My, my dad, when he was younger in Barbados, had one wrapped around his leg. Oh my God. So you Took you hit far. quads on that trip from the Barcelona. The day after I was, I, it must have been the same day because we went to play to the. When the last time we went Barcelona or <laughs> time previous, before. when 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 you went the to the sex time. shop, when you went to the sex shop and you were the worst paddleboarder ever. It wasn't known. a shop. It was a sex shop. It wasn't a shop. You went to a dildo museum. It was a museum. Do you want to see one? Of the no, I don't. Want it was to a, dildo a dildo museum. Though. Why are you taking photos? Because mate, <laughs> I was in a fucking <laughs> dildo museum. Who are you sending those when photos else? to? When else do you need to take photos? Yeah, I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a camera. <laughs> yeah, but who are you sending these photos? Who wants to see a Weirdly, dildo? There was a, there were, in there, there was a Picasso statue. There wasn't. <laughs> oh, wait. Where a statue, not a Picasso painting. No, no, no. Of right. him. Of oh, him. I see. Yeah, no. They, they're, they're all over sat Barcelona. Guernica yeah. was just sat there with a dildo hanging yeah. out, out, <laughs> the horse, out the horse like that. <laughs> uh, talking about that. Um, talking about dildos. No, we weren't. And we're not. We got we got Steve Jackson. Oh my at? god! Have you seen that? 
<laughs> Have you seen what Nicholas Jackson's yeah. been up to? I just can't believe it. What's he been up to, bro? Do you know? Um, do you know this like swathe of Jezebels that are around football now, right? Nicholas Jackson's been flying into the DMs of the Chelsea one. <laughs> Genuinely, you think it's a joke? It's true. Did yeah. you know this? Yeah, I've, I, I sent the link. Oh, did you yeah, show us? I think us? I sent the link. Right. But not only was he flying into the DMs, he was right off being it. longed off by her. She wasn't particularly and interested. She was she was filming it. It. And she was filming it With his without voice. him knowing. There's a full production set behind it. Could you hear him? No. It's like producer. She was, in a, she was in a taxi, yeah, yeah. wasn't she? It's like... Uh, I, can't, I can't believe it. I'm it's not being that, funny yet, but... It's like, I made a on, short man. one. I did. You did? I made a short on it. I saw it, yeah, I saw it. I made a short. Well, you Did you reenact your short? I did like... I should... Mate, I basically said how we've fallen... You know, Didier Drogba partying with Rihanna off the back of us winning the Champions League. Ashley Cole and Cheryl Cole, you know, like she was one of the most desirable women in the country at the time and he ended up with her. You've got like loads of examples of that. And Frankie now... from the Saturdays. Frankie from the Wayne Saturdays. <laughs> Frankie from the Saturdays and Wayne Bridge, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Peter Rosgood and Raquel Welsh when she was a Bond girl, you know, she's coming over to the 70s to be the part of the Kings of the and Kings then? Road. And now we've got our centre forward, who is useless, <laughs> trying and failing to get hold of the um, what, what are they called? <laughs> what you... nudes? Jezebel. Nudes. Only fans, content creators. Yeah. There that's you go. Now. Yeah. Like that. She's she's on TikTok. She's a fighter as well, a boxer for misfits. She boxes on misfits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think good luck to her. Like, good, you know. Yeah, I think she does. She does her thing in it. It's just funny that he's got unlimited money and he can kind of be in any social circle he wants to, and he kind of puts himself out there like that. And he went, "I need motivation for the game." What about motivation at your side? What? Don't show me that. <laughs> I don't ever want to see that. I never want to see that's that. Grim. Never show me that. Again. Oh, sorry, that's no, the one. I don't no, want to no, see that. Picasso. Picasso. That was in there. That was in the. Um... Don't show me any Is more it, images. What trip was that for, Adam? Who was that with? Um, I went there with uh, you, if I remember correctly. Rory. I was there. Yeah, I was there. Who else was there? Spraggy was there, if I remember right. Okay, you've all got to say someone who's there. Who was there? Roven. I said it. No, no, there. Roven's been said. No, but you, no, you, Roven's you, been he said. had two. He said Spraggy and Roven. I say <laughs> Roven. You go. Tonka. <laughs> ben, the cameraman. Binton. Vincent wasn't Vincent there. Vincent wasn't there. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, you have to know. Okay, you've lost. By the way, we're 23 the minutes away from a winner Academy, in Super 6. Uh, ben. Was it was already said. Kid from the Man City Academy. Hey, you rubbish. don't know his name. Oh. The kid who's rubbish. No, I'm, okay, I'm my yeah, turn. Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phil was there, the dealer. He was the worst footballer in the world. Yeah, he's rubbish. It, it, but he's partly, Man City Academy. Partly, if, if, if anyone, anyone ever told says... Me was Beckham or something before. Yeah. yeah. If anyone ever says they're Academy, trust me, they're rubbish. Trust me. Yeah. There doesn't seem to... to be a thing. It's either Academy or knee. If you say you've got a knee injury, you're rubbish. Trust me. Trust me. Or knee. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never I never went to an Academy. I've got a great, I've got great knees. You've got no knees. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. You two. We got 25, 30 minutes ago in the game. Mate, it's 2-1 to Manchester City. If there's, all, if there's City. zero goals or just one more goal in this game, we have a winner of a quarter of a million pounds. And you two could be in that position for absolutely nothing by just playing Super 6. Download the app right now because there's usually, sometimes, there's two attempts every week to do it. All you've got to do, click the link in the description, sign up now. You have to be over 18. Um, predict six score lines every round. If you get six score lines correctly, you could win a quarter of a million pounds. Oh. Spurs are breaking here. Shut away! Oh, Spurs have scored! 2-2! Two, two. Oh, my God. This is still Look good also. for Super 6. Oh my but whoever has Spurs 2-2 two, two right now is winning a quarter of a million pounds. But it must stay like this. Ace King. Movie. Ace 2-2. Two, two. Thoughts. Yeah. It's a great finish from Lascel. So what can I say? Defensively, there's no one in midfield again. Look at the space. When we lose the ball, Spurs can just rip right through us. Look at look. Where's Rodri? It's, it's embarrassing. Great finish. What can I say? Should Edison do better as well? Should Edison be doing Rodri's better? Rodri's got to do better there. Come He's on, Boobie. He's miles off it. He's miles off it. Look. Is that Rodri or Ruben Diaz? Sorry, Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz, Diaz gets done. Ruben there. Diaz. Talk to me about He's had a bad few weeks. He had a bad few weeks, Diaz. And the keeper. 
and the keeper should uh, touch keeper the ball as well. Touch, but yeah. Ruben, Ruben Diaz, Diaz, Ruben, get tight Diaz there, has had surely. a look. Yeah, and there are City fans questioning if he should have started today because he's had a bad few weeks. Um, really? Keeper, two mistakes in the game. Thoughts? Mistakes are no, no, not mistakes. The first one bad, was a mistake. Bad keeping. The first one was a mistake. Fine, one's a mistake, one's what, what? bad keeping. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a mistake, it was just bad goalkeeper. <laughs> he didn't make yeah, any a mistake, mistake. A mistake is catching the ball and it, it falls out your hands. That's a mistake. S -s not saving something you should we save is a bit bad keeping. I'm sorry, Boovy, you have to hope this ends like this. We can do... Oh, no, we need... That's it. A super That's six it. Nobody's got 3-2 City. No one's got 3-2 City. So this is our last chance. Nobody apart from this one person has got Tottenham to And remember, twice. if this isn't one today, if Rolls you're over. sitting at home thinking Man City are going to score or Spurs are going to score again... I really want it to end a draw now for this. Spurs are in the box here. Oh, Hoiberg's yeah. forward. He's, He's got the cut it. back. He'll mess it up. He's useless. Well defended by Rodri. Why would you keep it's that in, in you idiot? It in. It's a oh, corner. Got lucky there. We're getting ripped out of nowhere. Remember, if this isn't one today, if you're sitting there thinking, if you're sitting there thinking that <laughs> This is going to be another goal in this game. This could potentially roll over to a million by the 23rd of December. So even more reason to play Super 6. And even if someone does win a quarter of a million today, going again. We're going again. So make sure you get involved. They're going to nick it as well. They 20 not. minutes to go. Two Spurs all, corner. Two all finish. In I'll the take box. It. Flick done. Oh, it's the only time. He's evaded everyone in the box. Oh! It's the only time I've ever not wanted Tottenham to get beat in my entire life. How's this guy prime Zidane? Oh, oh, of all, he was rubbish last week as well. Scored a good goal the other day as well, didn't he? That's remember? a great block by Grealish Look because knowing that. your keeper, he's not yeah, saving that. That's going right in, you know. Right in. <laughs> oh, hit the Security safety tube as well. <laughs> what was the game that Spurs lost last? <coughs> what was it? Um, they lost to... They were winning. Liverpool. They lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers, Chelsea and... Chelsea, well, Villa. Villa, Villa. Villa, Villa. Sorry. He was rubbish against Villa. Rubbish. Lacelso scored for him the other day, though, didn't he? I, I don't think he's, he's not been very good since he's come in. Based on no, he know, has. What, what that role can he be has. with James Madison. Scored. Really? Shot from the edge of the box. Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell, man. They're all over us. He got blocked by a Spurs player. He seemed to just Fucking hit hell. his back. And then it nearly fell into the path of Brennan Johnson. Yeah, he scored against Villa. Hoiberg rattled it. If, that is, if, 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 if Johnson brings that down, is that onside? Yeah, but it would have been very difficult. Rico Lewis, yeah, Rico Lewis is coming down up. the game. Did you hear Cancelo's comments about him? Saying this kid cannot take my place. What did he, he say? He said that Rico Lewis played a game instead of Cancelo. Cancelo said privately to a few people at City, um, how could this kid take my place? I'm Cancelo. This has never happened in a million years. And it happened. I really rated Cancelo. But it though. did feel I at did the too, time but. like it was there was a point being made by the manager rather than... Rather than necessarily Because Cancelo being, was yeah. like quite... He was good, but he, he had a few. He, he had a game last season. We lost to Liverpool, and he missed. He miscontrolled the ball that went over the top. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, Salah yeah, 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 yeah. But Rico Lewis, when he came in, it wasn't ooh, like a, is that an elbow to the face. Has Haaland chopped one in there? Come on, I think he might have. Done. This needs to get checked. Look at his ref; he's an idiot. He did chuck. He did Got try Phil to Mitchell leave one in the there game. somewhere. Phil, Phil Mitchell ref in the game, the idiot. It, he's taken fold enough with eighteen minutes to go. Who so, I think's been your best player. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thoughts? I. Just slow the game down it. Take a 2-2 two -two draw. You're slowing the game down at 2-2. Two -two. I know. Do you think Pep's Pep's the one with 2-2 two -two in his R Super 6? Mate. Rem <laughs> <laughs> might be. Remember though, Never for, for, for Man City, for Man City, this is like one of those fixtures that they struggle with. So but just getting can't. this fixture out of the way. Oh, that's Arsenal. No, but... Liverpool mm. will still win the league. But you, you can't say that for sure now. I'm not saying for sure. Arsenal's I'm just saying... Top of the also, league. bring Liverpool it on Rico Lewis. I suppose they think that they're capable of winning the game with that change. Can we get some of your thoughts in the comments, please, guys? Let us know what you're making of this game. 2-2. Two, two. Boovy in the mod. Get it, it in the comments. You're not going to win the league. You're uh, actually you're win not. the league. I still think we're strong favourites. You're not. We're favourites. Well, you're not top of the league. And you've lost to the team that are. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, Arsenal? Um, if things remain the same, thing. you'd be three points behind Arsenal. Liverpool will be two points behind Arsenal. Arsenal released Both the kit this yeah. week and they, they used the, the f deflected goal in the game a few months ago as, as promo. Yeah, of course. What, when they beat you? <laughs> when they beat us with the def deflected goal. Of course that's But they used that in promo. You know? Mm, sorry, what point but, are you making? For example, what is the point you know the new that? Chelsea kit? It, the promo was the Dennis Wise FA Cup winning season, yeah. right? Yeah. So it was like a big moment. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal had a new kit come out on Twitter. They got this video and they're using a deflected goal against City already as promo. 
Yeah, so I small time. I, I don't think that's small quite time, the man. issue. I don't agree with you thinking do, it's an issue. Maybe it's just because it they was a goal you. rather than it was because of games. But they're using it in, in you, PR I think already. You have Do you know what I'm trying to say? They're using it in yeah, PR yeah, already. They beat City. There is a statement. We're bigger it than they haven't won the league yet. The league yet. They're using videos. They probably have to use this season because of the kits. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it's like... It's probably their biggest you know, moment. Well, trying to apply some logic to your thinking sometimes. I do. I thought that was small time. Yeah. Well, small time. I mean, no, I think you have to understand that your team are it is a marquee moment to beat City. Yeah, you are treble winners, and and Arsenal, Arsenal was saying with that, is it not fair to say it's a marquee moment if they go on to win the Premier League? If, mm, yeah, I suppose they have won the league. At the mo- but they are top. They drop the points the following game, but they? they are top. Of the um, we got someone in the comments says, "I love Boovy. He's having a mare today." Rico Lewis. Oh, oh. bad effort, man. He's got to have a touch yeah. there. Rodri, yeah. it was behind him. I think it was yeah, a little bit behind him. You've got him. to drag it. You've got to not have the shot. Then do you know? Like, yeah, I, it's one of the. I think you've got to take it, and it's just a. It's behind him. Yeah. No, oh, you've got to let him. it run. Let it run. Harlan's there. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Let that run across him, and Harlan's there. You no, know it is though. It's fizzed into him, so he hasn't got a chance to really touch it. No. Changes uh, or, you know, or you know, anything. You know, really. if you can't do any of the above, don't just boot it out. Just leave it. No, no, but I don't think he even had the chance to, you know, because it's the, well done, it's such a oh. short pass fizzed into him. Yeah, I don't think he had that. The, the time. I mean, he amended his run to. He, he he amended his run in order to get there. No, I'm not about the weight of the pass. Mm. Maybe I suppose it, it was just been smacked onto in, his foot. Fizzed in, in front of him. He had no time. Which is kind of what you want in that position. But... You need it two yards in front of you, don't you, yeah. rather than a yard behind you. Yeah, Diaz is having a bad season at the moment, like relative to his, his standards. Yeah. There's a few like that at City, though, isn't there? Like yeah. it just doesn't feel like it's clicking the way that it the way that it was, or yeah. the way that you're probably thinking that it will. I think you're entitled for it. I think the drop off that City fan or any side seen after treble wins, Premier League title wins, <laughs> the drop off is way better than I thought it'd be. I thought well, it'd be a way bigger drop off. Really well. Yeah, didn't you? You won the first five or six, seven. Lost, what have we lost? Two games all season. Top of the group, which is more than Arsenal. And, and, yeah, yeah, but the Premier League season's a marathon. You know, we've got to finish strong as well as starting strong. There's a this isn't a criticism of Arsenal being top of the league, obviously massive. But with them beating City and City dropping so much points, they'd have liked that gap to be a bit more than three in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the fact that City have dropped all those points mm. in those games and they're well, still they, only they, three they, points. They drew with top. Spurs, City won the following game and the, the, they made nothing on it. Although that's I, a I, great I, tackle by Son. I'd say I'd say realistically with regard to Arsenal. Aside from, off the top of my head, what points do you think that they haven't got that they'd be really kicking themselves? Apart from Fulham. Fulham, Fulham in it, that's it. Apart from Fulham, Fulham. no, nah, Tottenham are drawing the North London derby. I think it's just about fine, and you know, in a in the marathon that is the Premier League title race. Apart from Fulham, you have to beat Fulham, and they didn't. So that's that's not good enough. Where else would they? Where else have they dropped points? Point. No, I think you're right. I think they've been good. By no, way. but but they, they haven't won. You know, you know the victory they got yesterday. That's the first time this season that they've only that they've won three games in a row. Yeah. So where else have they dropped points where they would have been... Well, I think we're using that just because you're saying that City have dropped off a little bit more than I think we have. Mm. But ultimately, Arsenal haven't gained that much because they're only a couple of points within touching distance anyway. Well, they lost against New... I'm just pointing out the results. I'm not saying... Yeah, so Newcastle. Newcastle was bad. Chelsea, they drew. Chelsea's won. Go on. Um, Chelsea would actually oh. be a... Oh. Don't do that. Chelsea would be an example of a and yeah, two Fulham. points drop So you're right. Arsenal. The point of Fulham, making Fulham and right. Chelsea. Fulham, Fulham and Chelsea. I think you have to look to beat Chelsea, though. although Man City didn't either. So maybe by that logic, they got away with it. But I think both of those teams would think that they should come to Stamford Bridge and win because Forrest won there, Villa won there, Brentford won there. Yeah. If- I don't think Arsenal as good as you're saying. They're a little bit, for me, a little bit lower than you're saying. I think City is slightly better than what you're and saying. And what about Liverpool in this? There's weird kind of joker in the pack, in my opinion, because I think there are points against Fulham. They look rocky. Mm. And somehow, they're, how did they win that game? I know. You think that about them a lot, though. I know, but it's... You think about Arsenal. Can you win a league well. being that way? At least Arsenal and City are a little bit more need, boring. You, more need need that that you, need, you need that luck. Yeah, no, of course. They've got more belief than probably anyone else at Anfield. It's a special place to be, but can you live on a... Can you live on a such a thin line all season? I don't know if you can. No. Although we're getting to the stage now, you know, we're not far off halfway through the season. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a City ball, is it? Oh, no. Spurs have been really good in the second half. Really good. They have, yeah. Kind of nullified City. They're as just well. so good against City every year. And City aren't having that possession they were in. Pass back into him there. Is that an yeah, idiot yeah. skip? Yeah, Oli. He comes on all the time, doesn't he, Oli Skip? He that's ridiculous tackle. Is that Ben Davis? <laughs> that's that's a booking, surely. Oh, He's Hoibre. laughing. Hoibre. Oh, Hoibre. It's quite high, wasn't it? 
20 minutes left in the... Well, 15 minutes. Imagine the geezer now who's got the Super 6 2 all. Shit Brain. himself. 10 minutes. Shit in himself. Is it? <laughs> You reckon you think you watch it? it? I think you don't watch it. I think you no, go I would, out. I'd check out. Go out. I'd have to go, just, you'd have to go to the pub. Make myself busy for 15 minutes. Go to the pub minutes. that doesn't show the football. Or just for or go 15 minutes. Do something that takes 15 minutes. What, walk to the pub and by the time you Play get there, Play a game of FIFA. Know. You know, like, just keep yourself yeah, don't busy do that. for 15 minutes. Don't do that because you're not a moron. But yeah, I know 15 minutes, just... Watch an episode of Sister Sister. Trailer Park Boys. Go watch a 20-minute episode of Trailer Park Boys and come back. Come on. Come on. Watch one Veep and you're there. Watch one episode of Veep and Veep. Veep, mate. It's the best TV show in the world. stuff people take their hair off with. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is that called? I know that thing. It is Veep. called Veep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, Veep is the best TV show ever made. Really good. It's with that... Um, uh, Louis, Louis Dreyfus. You know the girl from Seinfeld? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's with, it's, it's with her. She's the vice president. Have you watched the new Seinfeld yet? Not Seinfeld, sorry, Frasier. No, mate. I'm watching it Christmas Day. Because I'm, I'm getting my nan up and I'm going to buy the Paramount package to watch it and I'll watch it with my nan. She's coming up to my house on Christmas. Yeah, I can't. Have you seen it yet? No, nah, I can't. It's, it's with Rodney, it, isn't it? Nicholas yeah, Linker. Yeah, I love Nicholas Linker, so obviously Fraser's in it, but it's just, it doesn't, there's not enough of the old characters in there for me. I don't Go think on. any of them are on it. Yeah, right? none just yeah. Fraser. I Maybe really want I will watch it. Harlan's in. Yes, Grealish! Yes! Sorry, mate. Three, two. Jack Grealish. Look at that. Yeah. Doc who could never. Oh, massive goal for Grealish in his kind heartbreak of heartbreak for super played six. well he's played really well Grealish defensively heartbreak yeah, 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 yeah. for the Super 6 heartbreak for the Super 6 Spurs so naive so naive in my opinion but the game's not over but that does mean it rolls we over could potentially be on for a rollover and we could potentially be on for a million pounds on the 23rd of December now you've seen guys today it's possible it's difficult but it's possible you can get very close to doing it you know, we're nine minutes away from it. So get your predictions in. Get downloading Super 6. Get joining. Use our mini league code, right. Club 23. Get involved with that as well. Because you can play Super 6. You can aim for the big box. You can aim for the £250,000 or whatever it's going to be by the 23rd of December. Possibly a million. But if you join our league as well, there's also other prizes you could win. If you finish top of our league, you could get a £100 classic football shirts voucher. And also, if you're top of our league at the end of the season... You'll be playing for Club FC against Pitchside FC. Not bad, is Somebody it? in the super chat has said uh, <laughs> Boovy is Oliver Skip's doppelganger. <laughs> Ollie Skip's the most annoying footballer going. He's one of those triards. Handsome. He's though. happy to be a sub. Handsome. He's a professional sub like uh, Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good career, Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer. He's got the incredible record I mean, of being Cardiff City's I mean, worst ever manager. If, if he played one game for City, you'd have a statue of him outside the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like you're building a statue for every other Tom, Dick, and Harry at the moment. Okay, now. Yeah, don't say that. If, I mean, if Man United, Franny Lee was if Man United any legends, Tom, Dick, was Man City legends, Colin you Bell, wouldn't be able to move for statues out. Colin Bell, your Francis Lee, uh, and Mike. Why Sandy. do you copy the Trinity as well? Can't you get some of your own ideas? What, are you what do you mean to... the copy the oh, Trinity? Let's put three on a statue. That's what United have got. Oh, we'll do that. What, what three are you referring to? I mean, the fact you have to ask shows you how stupid you are. Oh, all right, I'm just ask you the question. What three are you referring to? Gabriel what? Obertan, Bebe. <laughs> <and fucking. laughs> what are you talking about? The Charlton era? I don't know what you're on about. All right, That's fine, got the Holy fine. Trinity at the front of mine, at the front of Old Trafford. This like the, right. An what best statue. Charlton and Law? Oh, Law, fine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the one that played for City. <laughs> yeah. I've not heard of that. Go on, so. say it. Go on. You can't, usually can't mention Dennis Law without City fan going. Oh, he relegated. Yeah, you, the last you know? time you he said it, I said you've us. been on Wikipedia or something. He didn't relegate us. We were I did, yeah, get did I say that? You preempted me saying something that didn't even exist. And I've not said it on the stream, have I? That you got well, relegated you to the Dennis back, it, back heel. <sighs> Gavardio on a big challenge there. Gavardio, so that... this will be four defeats in a row for Tottenham, won't it? <laughs> got to go, innit? Mate, that's Sheffield Did United form. <laughs> 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 Sorry to any Aussies watching. <laughs> no, they, they'll appreciate that. Yeah. That's a good accent, mate. Is it? Can't you even do it? Can you say more than just I Big Ange? Yeah, I can. They love avocado. Bit of avo on that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you love a bit of avo? <laughs> they do. They put a bit of smashed avo on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They do. That's even yeah, yeah, that now, isn't it? Avocado is all over the gaff, isn't it? Good, though. It's good. All right, mate. Good you want a bit of smashed like avo yeah, on good. there? It's natural fats, isn't it? No, it's very good for you. I mean, people have like avocado and egg on yeah. toast. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. 
bit of chili. Lovely. So you are um, one of them avocado. People. No, the reason I can say that is because the, the girl who works in the cafe that I go to, She's Aussie. she always says that to me. Be the have one there, mate. So, so it's a British <laughs> thing that we're just blaming the Aussies for. No, she's Aussie. Yeah, but you can't give out too much information on the internet. Someone will be able to find that cafe. Yeah. Did you see the guy? You know the meme of the guy that's hiding behind the, the tree. It's like a really famous meme. Do you know the meme that I'm talk, talking about? Oh, when he when he there's a the guy cartoon that, where he massive, goes back into there's the bushes. A massive, no, there's a meme. There's a, a massive guy and he's like hiding behind a tree. Yeah, and I've this seen guy it. found it where the tree was in California. He, I love that. He, there's a guy that can what, find so it's anywhere. Based on a real yeah. thing. No, Someone the, put the Google Maps of where Ronnie Pickering happened as well, and I was yeah, like, I, I want to go there. I reckon I, I want to go there. <laughs> I want to go. You know when you want to go to these places, like you want to go to the Butter Bing. I want to go to the Space Needle for Fraser. I wouldn't mind going to the uh, Novosa Cafe for Fraser or or Central Perk. I want to go Ronnie Pickering's house. <laughs> where is that in London? No, it's in Hull. I'm Ronnie Pickering. Is he from Hull. <laughs> he's from Hull. Fucking hell, shit a Hull and back. That's a great episode as well. That's one. That's probably my favourite episode. Yeah, it's a bit up there, isn't it? Yeah. Is that with Van, Cle- Van Cleef, the yeah, diamonds yeah, yeah, yeah. and Van all Cleef, that? The Van Cleef. My favourite bit of that is you know uh, what's his name? Scar's got that in it. Yeah, Denzel. Denzel. He's driving and he around. Could, and he keeps seeing doing his deodorant. <laughs> yeah, he keeps seeing him everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Huh? Denzel. Denzel, my man. Do you know another, another brilliant small episode? Bit that's really good. You know when they float up to the oil ring and he goes, "Hey, mate, what's the way to Amsterdam?" And he yeah. goes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Imagine doing that in the sea. In the sea. Where's Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, my mum's in all those episodes. I, I know, the fact, that's amazing. Oh, challenge. Mm. She's, my mum my mum is in all, if you, you watch any to, old only You can point her out for me in one, then I can look out for it. Yeah, yeah, no, piece. she's in all of them. I think I've got. Because I always tell, I told my mum that, I've told uh, told a few, whenever I see mm. I say, oh. No, no, she's in loads. She's in EastEnders as well, isn't it? She's in EastEnders, my mum, every, yeah, she's she's in it pretty much every ep. She'll end up in the background. Ooh. Oh, no, it did come off him. It's definitely not a corner. Are they not looking at Lewis on his ankle? No. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Ake is coming on, as is... Kovacic. Kovacic. I love that. Or... Knock, knock it around a bit. Keep it simple, lads. As is Richarlison for Spurs. Beautiful. We've got to say, by the way... 173,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for everyone who's watched. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. We don't say that enough when we're, we're live, but we'd really appreciate it. Try to hit 200,000 subscribers. That'd be a beautiful little end to the year. It's a year on January the 19th, I think it is, the exact date. A year of the club. My kid's day. birthday. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, the first you. video, the first live. The first, what, the, like trailer. the launch was the 19th. What, the trailer where we're the chatting shit and all that? Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, you were chatting <laughs> Wait, wait, never, never that. No, we were in the trailer where we were like delivering wonderful insights. Yeah, you were chatting shit. Oh, we were talking about the Rashford goal that was incorrectly given, remember? Uh, I can't remember that. You have to have a very good memory to remember Rashford scoring a good goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We Passing never got around to finishing season. that clip because you had a paddy and you didn't speak for about five minutes. Well, it's because you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just me and Roy chatting about what happened in our no, lives in the last few weeks. <laughs> We are going to, I think, oh. we're, I think we're contractually obliged to talk about Rashford in the next uh, few hours. Uh, we're not uh, talking about Rashford. We should talk about Rashford and his ridiculous form and the fact that he's going to be left out the England squad. We should talk about another de- another defeat for Poch, is it, today? Another know? victory, I, mate. Are you in? Just another victory. Yeah, Easy as big pie. Win. Easy as pie. It's a shame, isn't it? Only, only the little men. matter of beating Brighton with 10 men. Second time. You know what it is? I knew season. they won, but because I'm used to them, like, us losing, them losing, it being a thing. Yeah. So it got hand in hand. Do you think they finish above United now? No. We will. F- f- Chelsea won't. No, I don't think so. So United above Villa. No, Villa finished. United will finish about fifth or sixth. Fifth or sixth. So Chelsea seventh. No. Something like That's that. low. It feels low. I'm, just, I'm not trying to say United. Whatever. I think you could finish fifth. Seventh, eighth. I but think. Chelsea low. No, we are. We we are. You have good, a weird man. end of the season where you everyone will click and Cuckoo's back, fully fit. You'll you'll win six in a row. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I've seen nothing to suggest no this Chelsea team seen. are winning six in a row. Six in a row, really good for Arsenal or Man City. There'll be a weird like bit Arsenal of form. Arsenal just won three in a row. Where and Chelsea really will go on a, on a run. You can't... How on earth are Chelsea going to win six games in a row, mate? Arsenal have won three in a row this season. They're top of the league. Yeah. That's what you're talking I'm about. I'm saying at the end of the season, when everything's lost. Just, mate, you know when this happens? I can see it in your face that you've suddenly <laughs> gone, yeah, that ain't right. Just go... Okay. Yeah, that was a bit strong. It's a bit strong. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. But because <laughs> I could see that you, you were a bit you're not trying to say. You know when I went Arsenal top of the league and they've only won three in a row once. But do you know what I'm trying you to went, say? Oh, you, you, know, you know, you know, side sometimes at the end of the season where there's nothing to play for, they're playing for next season. Mm. You know, they're focused on next season. But Nkuku, uh, did he come back against Brighton? I know he's back in training at least. Mm. 
I I don't. I I think that we're distinctly average. Stat. You don't think Nkuku's a, a a factor? I don't know. I think he is a factor. And and you know, obviously, Pochettino was like really really uh, building around him during the during the preseason. But I think that there's so many problems at Chelsea that they're they're sort of endemic issues with the club. That one player coming back off an injury and it's a worrying injury as well. That's my other concern. Like you know, my you know what kept him out of Chelsea? It's the same injury that kept him out of the World Cup a year ago. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You know, one more of those. Yeah. yeah. Same injury. Looking for a late equaliser here. Cross oh my God. the box. Could have saved again. They've done it. What a shame for this geezer with two all. Stick that up your hole. What is wrong with Man City? No, oh, fuck me. Can't control a game. Can't manage a game. Could've I cannot. Three two. I cannot Jeez. believe. Ah. And look at these idiots. They've just done Arsenal a massive favour. Oh, fuck me. Good header. What can we say Mate, about that? Great what? finish. I feel so sorry for the two all geezer. You know, if if it, yeah, if, he, if he's not going to win, if he's not going to win, at least means Ooh. Tottenham lose. No, he's, he's offside. On. He's on. And that's, that's He goes to the left. Uh. Yeah. Was that so oh, great ball in? It's got oh, some, Ake, is you it? You know the cross as well. It's got some is pace it on it. Is that Ake? Sorry, it's Brennan Johnson with the cross. It's got some pace no, on Ake. Appalling from Ake. Yeah. Appalling. Flat-footed, flat-footed. Really poor. Amateur. Sunday league defending. Ake that, no, but the, the cross, the pace on the cross is immaculate. But Ake needs to win. He's hit his shoulder. Yeah, got something on it, hasn't he? No, yeah, but it's, it's where's Edison unreal. again? Where's Edison it's again? A great goal. That I don't blame Edison so much. I blame Ake. Yeah, I think yeah, when he goes in off the bar, it's yeah. The keeper can't save that, but Ake can definitely make the header too awkward. Fucking hell, man! Three, three, five three, minutes to go. Four minutes. What to another go. good game. Five minutes, maybe if if they play the full stoppage time. Still time for Spurs to win this. Uh, Our City Spursy. They're becoming a bit. Well, we're perennial champions the last six years. But yeah, apart from that, we're definitely Spursy. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, just checking. Check <laughs> yeah, they've uh, they've got an Amazon dot coming out already. Um, you did that as well, you know. You can't keep ripping yeah, but we did it. Amazon yeah. dot. And what was uh, our Amazon dot about? The I don't Centurion know. I've never season. Your one. Yeah, well, yeah. 100 never point watched. season. 100 point season. More than Man United has ever achieved, by the way. 100 point season. I think I've right. watched... Their one's about coming, I think I losing to fucking one. someone in the group stage of the Champions League and someone was playing. It's a load of rubbish. Actually, I watched the Arsenal one as well because I liked Enketia in it. It was pretty good value. They got their, they wheeled their photographer out. They're all playing up to the camera. Yeah, that was embarrassing, that. Getting See, it was the first the one and, and it felt very natural. And then you, you capture... It's like, it's like, have you seen the Ronnie, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan documentary yet? No. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That's about his winning the World Championship. It's everything. like, what are the odds of you seeing him win that? You know, relatively speaking, if you're going to do I was watching an interview with him and he said the reason he decides to do a doc was obviously to like showcase him, but he wants to do it while he was playing so he could see what he went through. But he went, he also chose to do it to put extra pressure on himself with the world championship. I, I, like he said, that. I need that pressure. I actually thought that. I'm not even Because he's got a great, um, he did an interview with uh, Gary Neville and Roy Keane and that yeah, was pretty good. That, yeah. But the, I love, I've always, I've always liked Ronnie O'Sullivan. A lot, yeah. Because he's eccentric, isn't it? You don't get those sportsmen. No, but he said that, didn't he? He said that the reason that he hasn't, um, the reason that he couldn't retire was because he just said that there's no Mavericks. Like he was on the telly playing as I left home today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's playing the world final today. He's, 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 play, okay. he's playing today. And you're like, he, how has there not been another, like, you know, the mm. next gen? How is there not Judge another? Trump's the only one that's come through and, Judge and Trump, competed. Yeah. But he's not, he hasn't Neil captured Robertson. the imagination. Oh, defo, yeah, definitely not. He hasn't captured the imagination yeah, of the country. Definitely not. You say, he, God rest his soul, you used to have the fellow, remember Hunter, he had the Beckhams about him. Hunter, yeah, the Australian one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there, no. was a, there was an era where like a few people were coming through, but yeah, it's right. The fact Ronnie O'Sullivan's still, still the main man. Yeah. Like Ronnie O'Sullivan would have played Against Davis and Hendry in that. Mm. Yeah, the nineties. Yeah, like he would have played in that era. Hendry's still going as well somewhere, isn't he? No? Less, he came out of retirement less. for like a bit. Of a sometimes yeah, they come out and play a yeah. tournament. Jimmy White's still technically not unretired. Yeah, I saw an interview with Jimmy White. He was like, "I've not technically not not won a world championship yet." Yeah, so I'm still playing. I could win one. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, you're not winning one. <laughs> no. Oh, if Brennan Johnson got that layoff right there, Spurs were oh, oh play on, play on, play on, absolutely play on, play on. hacked him. He's in. He might be Is off side. Go, 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 shoot. Oh, they've brought it back for Why a free kick. Why have they brought that back? Oh my God, they've brought it back. It's an advantage. Oh my God, they've brought it back for a free I kick. I actually think Grealish was offside, so it might be I don't okay. think he was offside. But that is shocking I from the ref. I cannot believe that. That is shocking Why from would the ref. Why is he his players back, are surrounding the ref. Oh my God. For the people God. that aren't watching the game at home, Erling Carlin got hacked by the Spurs defender. 
He kept his feet, though, clipped the ball over the top to Grealish, who was in, and basically one-on-one. -on -one. Grealish could have been offside, but the referee blew the whistle and brought it back for the free kick inside City's half, despite the fact... Now, we can't hear when the whistle came, That's but the... Haaland didn't go... No, he lets it go on. He lets it go on. Oh, yeah, he's let it he, go and on. And then brings it back. He, he's, a, he's assuming that he's offside. Did he not see Grealish? Then. Oh, I don't know. No, he I can't have seen Grealish. guys, man. Because he couldn't have done it for the offside. Because he threw on goal. He threw on goal. He always That's played advantage. That is a disgrace. The man. only hope you've got, Boovy, just to make you feel better about that, is if, if he really was offside. Yeah. I don't think he was offside either. I he seemed to be ahead of the also, the, ball the reaction isn't as a disgrace, the reaction though. isn't as aggressive as this if he's offside. No, no, but they wouldn't know in it. Like Haaland don't know. Couldn't see. No, the line. I think I think they'd have a good idea. It's just fact, like no, no, no. You'd have a good idea. Haaland don't know whether Grealish is offside. Grealish knows, and he's spoken to Grealish. Yeah, but I mean, it looked off. But it could. I don't think it did. Look the good. referee still shouldn't have made the decision. I, I agree with Every you. Every game there's a decision like this. I can't. Scale. I am honestly amazed. That should never have got pulled back. Just let it go and then yeah. work yeah, it, out check it out later. Just let it go and work it out later. A goal scoring chance like that. A pure goal scoring chance through on goal. Also, and the keeper massively the off his line gone. as well. The referee's the keeper, gone. Like Greedish was going to chip it. Play on. Yeah. The referee's gone. Play he's on. He's gone on. He, he and he's bottled his own decision. The ref. He's an absolute oh coward, and they all are. They're all cowards. That is a travesty. See, the thing is... That is a travesty. They have no interest Boobie's, in the Boobie's, game. Boobie's, Boobie's, Boobie's saying he's bottled a decision. I don't think he's bottled a decision. I think he's just not seen Grealish, which makes it worse. Because it's like, your job is to see, bro. And also, you could easily give that an extra two seconds. That is a travesty. That like you don't need to pull it back there. You can give it two seconds. I'm like, honestly... It's just idiocy. Go on, off you go. I'm honestly, like, very rarely speechless, but that is one of the worst decisions <laughs> I've ever idiocy, seen. It's idiocy, isn't it? That is one of the worst decisions. It always happens against Spurs as well. I like, there is no, you know, sometimes maybe it's a little bit more, there's a lot of conjecture around the decision or or it's subjective and you can't quite tell. Just let it go, you idiot. What a terrible pass. That really caught Lewis. Sorry, kept the ball, kept the ball. I thought terrible pass. Skip's face then. Rico Lewis has totally stifled this attack. Go on. Yeah, pure idiocy by the ref. Handball! That's a ball! I weren't handball, it's his foot. It was his foot. Was it Fucking foot? hell, man. Ball, didn't it was his foot. Give it then. Give it. Oh. Is that a penalty on, on Akanji by Skip? It's handball. Akanji was looking for that. You know. Definitely hit his foot, mate. You know you know why I think I, I thought it was handball, but Akanji didn't bastard. even react. No, no, he just stuck his foot out. The geezer just stuck his foot out. I don't know what you've seen. Cheating. Now, there looked to be a... The ref's here, man. I don't know That's what we're going to do. That's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. They're calling for that. Yeah. Although you got one... Against United, didn't it today. flick off someone's hand? I thought you got one against United. Hand. No, no, there was no handball, mate. Now the, the other oh. place is when Sun controlled it. They're checking. Oh, it. they are checking it. They're going to give it. Did we get one against United. you that was similar? Yeah, against was United. It? It was United, disgrace, sorry, yeah, was United. United. All right, he's going to look. No, he's nothing. You can't give that. It won't be it's given. Soft. That's, that's not. That's I not a penalty. That. I, I was shouting for the hand. I thought it was no, handball. No, there's definitely not handball. There was definitely not handball. Yeah, I think you just when you're when you're desperate when you're desperate you see what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I seen it as right. It was just an illusion. It looked weird, didn't it? It, it looked, an illusion. It could be humble. I think as he took it down with his foot, Don't his arm. Don't just lump kind of... it. Surely they're better than. Oh, it's worked out. Get on the floor. It's worked out. You we are it. well over the allotted added time here. We're into the 98th minute. Five minutes were added on. That's the sort of part. But they but did score in the box. Now in the box. Minute. In the box. Get it to... In the box. No, you need to find Go Grealish. On. That's it. Grealish. They're doubling up. Look. City are attacking. Grealish oh, crosses the board. It's blocked. Full time. Oh, City, I can't believe I three, can't believe that Spurs three two more points dropped by City. The, the thing that I can't believe, I think it's a, a valiant result for for Tottenham. They did really well. Manchester City, I think, would be fairly disappointed. They were winning the game so often to then not take the three points. But that Grealish opportunity where he went through the keeper off his line, it was so obvious that Jack Grealish was going to chip mm. it. It was like it, it, the ball was sitting up perfectly. And the referee blew the whistle for absolutely no reason. Yeah. I, I I genuinely think this is how bad it is. Look how furious he is. I genuinely think the referee didn't see Grealish. No, he's like, you know how... I don't know, man. Like, it, which What's is, more likely, that or he bottled the, the decision? No, no, because you're Look. talking about... He bottled what? What did he bottle? That he he played. He said play on. He thought he'd made a mistake. He was so afraid of making a mistake nonsense. that he brought the he's thing. Made Why the is wrong it decision? Because he's an how idiot. How do you know it's nonsense? It's just an opinion. Because what you? Because I see these referees week in week out. Like, they're cowards. It's like when 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 we're talking about Man United yesterday, and it's like Andy Tate for the, oh, there's no pat. It's just it reminds me of that argument where it's just it makes no sense. What's like, this got to do with Andy Tate? About shouting, sake, there's no passion. I'm not shouting. What do you mean? Oh, I'm shouting? 
What my point is, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but you're going, he's bottled it. He has bottled it. He's, he's embarrassed. It's like, bottled what? I'm like, trying to make the point. Just, you, you kind of select me, ignore what decision. I'm saying, bro. He made an awful well, decision because he never seen Grealish and he's a shit referee. That's yeah, he, the issue. I'm saying it you're could just be... You're bottled what? Like, bottled what? Okay, well, I tried to explain. You obviously don't want to listen. So what's the point of any kind of debate about the topic? I don't now? understand. What could he bottle? I just... The, my angle from it is, from my understanding, that he's tried to play advantage. He thinks he's made a mistake. He should have brought the foul back. So he's done it. He's made a mistake. He's doubled down on his mistake. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. He's <laughs> bottled it. <laughs> I, I, all right, all right. Go on, yeah, you, yeah, go on. Um, anyway, referee's going off with the ball. 3-3 um, three, three in this game. More points dropped by City against Spurs. Arsenal, two, uh, three points clear of them. S Liverpool, two points clear of them. They're sitting in third at the moment. Um, we'll have the podcast out tomorrow with plenty of reaction to all the weekend's events. Um, Boovy, talk to me. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's just a lack of it's a lack of professionalism, isn't it? It's dropped points against Chelsea, against Arsenal, against uh, Liverpool, and now Spurs. You can't win the Premier League with this kind of record against the big six. So uh, it's not ideal, but City is still in and around that top end of the table. It's probably a bigger result for Tottenham Hotspur. So what can I say, lads? You've got Rodri suspended for the game at Villa Park as well. Oh, right? fuck me. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful <laughs> insight, Boob. No, genuinely speaking... Is there a real concern here with this Tottenham side? You think about the... Sorry, with this Man City side. You think about the points that you've dropped so far this season. You've dropped points to Arsenal. Yeah. You've dropped points to Chelsea. You've dropped points to Tottenham. Particularly the Tottenham one and the Chelsea one, all from winning positions. You didn't beat Liverpool. You were in a winning position. Yeah. How many times will... This, this City team are demonstrating a weird vulnerability. Yeah. They're vulnerable, in fact. That's, yeah. that's the perfect word. Yeah. You're winning the game against Liverpool, 10 minutes left, you don't win the game. Yeah. You're winning the game against Chelsea, two minutes left, you mm. don't win the game. You're drawing the game against Arsenal, you're taking points in all these games. You're taking points against Arsenal, end up with nothing. Taking three against Chelsea, end up with one. Three against Liverpool, end up with one. Three against Tottenham, end up with one. All in the last five minutes of the game. Yeah, yeah. Is it concentration? Is it fitness? It's, it's, is it what? It's a lack of midfield for me. I think the midfield situation, you've got Rodri and then who else is around him? No De Bruyne. Phil Foden, you know, is floating around. Bernardo Silva's floating around. There's too many, you know, there's no Ilkay Gundogan. There's no kind of control in midfield. Kovic, which hasn't settled in and is not playing enough football. Mm. So we're playing basically Rodri by himself. Alvarez, Doku, Foden, Haaland, all running off of him. There's no midfield. We get we get torn through on the counter-attack. And we did against Chelsea. We did against Spurs. And now you're, now you're going to play Aston Villa at Villa Park without Rodri. Oh. So far, you've played three games in the Premier League without Rodri. You lost them all. Isn't that right? Why is he out? One in the League Cup Five as well. Bookings, I think. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that they'll beat Villa? When's that game? It's coming next up. Next week. Like, yeah, it must, must be, be the next week. game. We've got Villa next... midweek because of midweek games, isn't it? We've got oh, Chelsea Yeah, we've got sure. Chelsea Man United, isn't it? Um, so if it's one of those midweek games, it's a difficult oh, one for you, man. Midweek, is it at Villa Park? Yes, that, and that makes Park. a big difference. That Villa Park at home, yeah. Fancy Villa, you know. Villa Park, yeah. There. Tough Although place Villa, to go. Yeah. But then when the expectation Hard. comes on, like, you know, with Villa, you go, oh, I expect them to do something. That's when they probably won't. I don't understand it. This, this all taps into why I think Arsenal will win the league. I don't want it to be true. I desperately want City to win the league. But everything that I'm seeing from this City mm. team, it's stuttering. There's no but way that, there's no way. Could you not argue they were like, it was, they were in a similar position at this point last season, going into Christmas? Yeah, you could. No, off. no, they were. I didn't think they'd win. So is this not in. kind of like City's way? I don't know. I remember when United you, used to go, they make things hard for themselves. I hate that. But do you not but think it's like, that it's it's like ultimately unsustainable? You can't keep the problem for them relying. is now Arsenal have the experience of last year. Yeah. Plus they've added like Declan Rice, which is great. But you've not just fighting with Arsenal, who have maybe a little bit flakiness in a in a title race. You've you're playing against Liverpool who've already been there and done it. You also and that's you a can't problem. keep doing. You can't keep relying on the fact that you're going to win 16 games in a row or whatever it is, because I don't think that you can guarantee winning 16. What, what, realistically, we're going to say, the re, if you think City are going to win the league, the reason that you think City are going to win the league is because between March and May, they win 10 games. I don't think you can rely but on We're three points off Arsenal now with a better goal difference. Beat them at the FDR, yeah, suddenly we're top of the league. Do you know what I mean? In that game when it comes around, in yeah, the business end of the season. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but By then, City's you've you got it, the Bruyne back, no, you've got one of the best players say, in world football coming back. You say it like that, though. I'll just say it the other way. When they play you and they beat you, they move six points clear you. But they've got a terrible record at the Etihad. I'm, I'm they, had a terrible, on, they had a terrible record at the Emirates. Yeah, they got the ability to beat us at the, Etihad, at the Etihad. I'm just I'm just saying, De Bruyne's back, Phil Foden playing in incredible form, Haaland, etc. 
John Stone's coming back. So do you still think you'll win the league? Yeah. I, I've not seen enough from the other sides yet. <laughs> do you know what's brilliant I, I, don't, I don't want to be arrogant or anything. You must just... agree with me. Anybody watching this must agree. That is the most flimsy you've ever sounded about City yeah, winning the league. Of course ever. That's, course the, that's the weakest it's yeah. ever been. And you say it a lot about you... the four in a row thing. It's never... It, because there is, a, there is a reason and a respect for football history. Why has it not been done before? Because it's incredibly hard. Interestingly, I think this is last season's table. Yeah, 20, t- Premier League table 2022-2023. This point last season, City were top of the league, 35 points, 30 goal difference after 14 games played. And Arsenal had 34 points, uh, 21 goal difference with 14 played. So actually... Arsenal weren't in this position last season. They were in a w- worse. They yeah, were in Arsenal a worse. In a better position than they were last season. In terms yeah. of the league. The, the other thing yeah. with Arsenal is they haven't played well all season. Mm. They, they, Arsenal haven't really been out. But of neither have City. And neither have City. So both yeah, sides. Top of the have, league. Yeah, but by three points. So I'm. So, oh, I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're right. But the margin of error for both sides having it a business end of the season. Yeah. April, May. De Bruyne's back. Harlan's firing. Ruben well, Diaz, John Stones. What's the story of De Bruyne? How long until he's back? Do you know? I think it's January, early January, that he's he's been. He's I think he's come back in light training. And um, does he get bombed straight in? Well, he was against Burnley first game of the season, and he shouldn't have been. So he's got to be treated. Even if he gives City two months yeah. out of the season, yeah. that's enough. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. enough. But Arsenal have been fantastic this season. I think the big factor. We're talking about Rodri when he when he's been sent off and, and missing games. Declan Rice hasn't missed it. Has barely missed a game for Arsenal. He's been absolutely superb. If I look at a Premier League winning midfielder that hasn't won one yet, it's Declan Rice. Do you know what I mean? In terms of what he could do for Arsenal, driving them forward. If he stays fit all season, they've got an incredible chance with Can him you alone. Imagine, imagine living in this parallel universe for a minute. Do you remember when Declan Rice was, just before he signed for Arsenal, everybody thought he was going to sign for City. We were told he was going to sign for City. You made an error. Because he is a warrior. He is hmm. sensational. I knew he was a good player. I didn't think he was this good. He is the reason. If there is well, sort of one reason, if there is a personification of Arsenal's to explain Arsenal being at the top of the league, it's him. Mm. You could have had him. Yeah, it, it was a little bit of arrogance not to bid the money. We kind of kept it at 90 million or whatever it was, just under the 100 mil for kind of, it felt like a PR thing. Mm. I think City could have easily done 150, 120 for what he's, what, what he's worth. You know, but Arsenal got a fantastic player and sometimes you do want to see the great players go to other clubs and be bigger fishes in smaller ponds because there's a world smaller ponds Small, Arsenal Arsenal are bigger <laughs> but you know what I'd always yeah. say Arsenal are bigger pond yeah, than Man yeah, City I'm just saying yeah. in terms of he's going to play every minute for Arsenal yeah, I know there's a world he could have come to City and been on the bench for this game you know there's a world yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. if everyone's fit yeah, the Bruyne's like fit and, exactly yeah, yeah. so um, it's a really fascinating one um, but thank God he didn't go like just for the Premier League because you'd yeah, have it sewn up by now yeah 100% Imagine him and Rodri in the same midfield. I'm very keen to see what everyone thinks at the comment in the comments down below in terms of... Uh, Caleb you know. said, eight goals conceded in three games, six points dropped. Going to be costly come the end of the season. Caleb's right. Yeah. Uh, Anything else catch your eye? Um, <laughs> Rory, stop meat riding Declan. Stop what? <laughs> <laughs> People don't like that you love Declan Rice so much. But he's a great player. He's, he's, great a great, player. he's one of those players you can't not like. I, I, yeah. If you don't like Declan Rice, I think you're a real weird guy. Brilliant footballer. No, he's a fantastic he? footballer, yeah. Who's this clown? <laughs> Who's this idiot? What's he called? Uh, let me find where the guy is. Mug. Uh, uh, Rukudzo. Mug. <laughs> mug. Two Bob Mug. You two Bob Mug. But if you are that two Bob Mug, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button yeah. as well. We want to hit... A thousand likes at the very least. We've got around 850 at the moment. Wait, we can get that now. Yeah. We can get that now. Go do it. Can we get, how many do we need? About 150? Yeah. Can, can 150 of you like the stream, please? Really helps us out. We'd appreciate it massively. Has that worked? Oh, us nicely. Yeah. Um, someone said, Toxicator says, love your balm knowledge, Rory. My what? Balm. I think they meant ball. Balm? But they've said balm. Like lip balm. Yeah, you like lip balm. Don't Tiger you? balm. Tiger, but of all the bombs, my favourite would be the Tiger. Rory Rizzler paper Jennings, people are calling him as well. <laughs> That's, like you, say, you use that saying a lot, don't you? Rizzler paper away. Yeah, I think it demonstrates exactly what I'm trying to say. Man City are going to finish this season Rizzler paper away from winning the league title. Thomas Platt, I don't know what this means. Oh, but Thomas Platt says, Rory's gone full Astrid wet on deck. Oh, for God's sake. What does that mean? That's the girl I was talking to you about. Uh, don't you know? That's uh, her. Adam knew that. Her name, uh, sorry, her pastime, the way that she spends her <laughs> time, she did one of the maddest things I've ever seen in my life. 
Tay says. <laughs> Tay, Tay says, Do you know Rory's what it involved? Analysis. It was a message. Chelsea were playing oh, in the Rory's Bernabeu. analysis is about as useful as an ice cream warmer. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. So your similes, prick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guess what this girl did? Yeah. Chelsea were playing. I think we were playing at the Bernabeu, right? And she was desperate for Chelsea to get a victory. And she decided that the way to victory, I think she was quite right here. She... She deduced that Antonio Rudiger would be crucial to our success. He needed to have a good game. For Chelsea to win, he needed to have a good game. So she's tried to inspire him. By doing what? Do you know? Why I don't you know. know. Um, Big Dog says, do you, have a, <laughs> do you have a subscription? You know a lot about this girl. She's on OnlyFans. I know her because she's, become, she's been thrust into my life. Day in the life of me life. with a super chat. His first super chat or... Her first super chat says, Big up the club, and then they say this. Come on, ass. No, I'm not saying that. Wow. Say that. I'm not saying that. Um, but yeah, she's. She, is, she, is she the most famous of all of uh, the girls? Gunners Forever <laughs> says, Arsenal are yet to play is their she? best midfield. You know, of all of these girls, Rice, about City, Odegaard, and Party. Wait, yeah. can you stop talking about football? We're trying to talk about something else. Of all of the girls in yeah. this world, so I think every club has one. Yeah. Of all of them, you've got, you might have no Chelsea football. have Chelsea have an abundance. We won the Why league. Is it with Chelsea that we've won the league for this? I Where don't know. I don't, I don't. No, we, you've see, got no, a lot right. of dirty old men amongst your fan base. So they think this is a tap in. No more so than anywhere else. I want to feel. Okay, but plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think every club seems to have a girl attached to them. Yeah, and she is. Is she the? Have Chelsea won the league yeah. in this? Yeah. Rather, yeah. sh- she's on misfits sordid and league table. She's on misfits and all sorts. No, but your one is as well. Sahil Sharma says, I don't know who that is. Uh, big fan you from do. India. You spoke to me about India before. football fans. Hold about? tight, you. Not, you spoke what to are you about? You're making stuff up. She again. fought her. No, she didn't. She did. I've never heard of her. Mate. You told me about Can, this. You, you know, every video this girl's put on OnlyFans, every p- p- bit of media, whatever she's put on OnlyFans, you've watched it. Okay? You I've told me about the fight. I've not. You said to me, you said I don't subscribe to things. Oh, me, I've got a Spotify Are we getting you on Misfits or what? Huh? Are we getting you on Misfits? I, or I what? just don't know who's big enough to fight me in terms of big, like big. Oh what? Oh, I thought you meant like. Yeah, I thought you meant like. Oh no. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd never say that. Would you, I? Gotta get, you gotta have 170k subs to fight him. Who we'll have you? Fight? I've got a name. Who? I've got a big. So would you actually name. do it? I would. Say the name. Say it. If you'd actually want to fight them, you have to go to start calling people out. No, 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 no. Go on. With your chest, look down Stay that up. camera, call I, someone out. I'd, I'd fight True Geordie on Misfits. Would you? Yeah, I would. This is a call out. And this is not a call out because I don't respect I, I respect him. Uh, I respect him. But I would have a fight for charity with uh, with uh, True Geordie. I would. And do you think you'd win? He's handy, no, because he's huge. Yeah, he's handy. But the reason I'm saying it is because he's a big guy and there's not many big, I'm talking big guys in the in the space. It'd be a funny watch. It'd be a funny watch. It would be a funny watch. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying I'd have See a beat. You I, think, I think you get wallops. <laughs> I think you get done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the support, lads. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll be, we'll be ringside cheering you on. Yeah, slagging me but off. We will no, laugh when you get back. Yeah. We but will that, laugh that's when you get back. That's what I do. I think, it, I think it'd be a good fight as well for everyone. It'd be an entertaining it'd fight. It'd be an entertaining it? fight. Yeah. Mate, yeah. But no, no disrespect. Be, be good no disrespect. For, for <laughs> yeah. Mate, good luck. Well, you never Thanks. know. This could, be the, this could be the birthplace. We need to phone KSI. So yep. are you prepared to tweet out? For the fight. No, the don't club will do that now. We yeah. used to, <laughs> don't yeah. need to tweet it. Don't there need we to go. tweet it. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. A terrible result for me. Really wanted Tottenham to get beat. A terrible result for me. I really don't want Arsenal to win the league. Not impressed. Uh, thank you so much, though, to Super 6. Congratulations to Tottenham. And remember, we now have a half a million pound jackpot moving into the next rung of Super 6. When is the next rung of Super 6, Jack? Next week. Right, so there is one midweek. You the can play with us midweek. Not mid-week. The rollover, however, will be next week. So if you want to win half a million pounds, make sure that you download the Super Six app. Join our mini league. The code is Club Twenty Three, and a huge thank you to Super Six. Remember, this is most incru- crucial bit. Doesn't cost you a penny. Download the app now, and we'll see you all on the next stream Wednesday night. Chelsea batter Man United. See you then. Bye, United. <laughs>